Hey, what is up, guys? We are back at again for the Can You Beat Me Challenge in Clash Shroud. If you guys are well and nerd to this challenge, you understand that if you beat me, you get past Shroud and also get the uh, ability to flaunt over that win for the rest of eternity, saying, Sir Tag, you're terrible. I'm better. So join the clan if you guys haven't already. Uh, here is the clan. We have it enclosed right now. We're going to go move it to open. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what decks you guys play and what you think is going to be strong. So strategies for this challenge is we're going to be playing as many games as possible. So we get as many opportunities to lose against you guys. Every single game after we beat or lose against someone, we kick someone out. So then there's more openings in the clan. And um, yeah, there will always be uh, people flowing in and out. Like this type of video if you guys want to see more of this in the future. Let me know down below in the comment section if there's ways that I can improve this. But yeah, the more likes that this video gets, the more views it gets, the more frequently that I will be doing these giveaways to the channel where you guys, if you beat me, you get past Ral. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully we can do this more frequently than we're doing right now. Currently, we're on pace to do it once a month. Um, would love to do it twice a month. It'd be kind of fun. So let's get after it. This guy's going to go for a log. Totally fine for us. Generally, in this situation, it's better for us to go in for goblins afterward just to kill the skeleton so it doesn't lock onto our tower. And then I definitely do want to go in for our little prince in the back to get the three card cycle because you can only get one champion on the field as, at, at a time. It's pretty important to make sure that you are maximizing your value. Uh, I'm going to go for an Evo Bomber here as well. I don't think that was necessarily good. But yeah, when you have one champion on the field, you can't get a second champion. So it allows you to get back to your wall breakers faster because then essentially there's seven cards in your deck because you can't cycle the champion as like often as you would want. So like this is essentially a seventh card or seven cards total instead of having eight cards. Evil Bomber hit the tower. It splashed onto the cannon and hit the tower there. That was insane. So another thing about this game is like, you actually, if you're playing at a higher level, you cycle your bombers so often that sometimes you're spamming it at the river, which isn't necessarily like a very cool thing to do, but it is the way to play because the, the evolution for pretty much everything will give you value. Really hard not to get value. All right, if someone manages to three crown you, will you give them a diamond pass? Uh, I feel like we could add stipulations like that into into it. I mean, if there's different things that you guys want to do, uh, we could we could do that. Like maybe diamond pass uh, for three crowns. Maybe if you end up, um, I don't know, if you end up taking like zero damage, but that's not gonna happen because I just spell you. Um, I don't know. I, I there there has to be some there, there there could be some cool stipulations that we could add. Also, I just lost the. Skelly, so that's just so sad uh all right we have to focus a lot more because i i don't think i i don't think i defend this i think i just lost need to go in for a delivery all right this is really scary i actually have to focus i don't want to lose the first game really do not want to lose the first game that was insane those those did so much damage all right i was not very focused and now i actually have to focus up gotta give this guy the respect he deserves Alright. Poison takes. No, it doesn't. Not at this tournament standard. Alright, we have to wait for that to die, then we go wall breakers. That should hit, right? Go for a bomb tower here. We can go in for Evil Bomber, Little Prince. Start to spam very aggressively here. I, don't, I really don't want to lose the first game, you feel me? You feel me, my dudes? We're actually kind of in a bad spot, so maybe we can come back. If this bounce back happens, it'd be insane. It is obviously possible, but it is uh, <laughs> not looking great. Oh, very cool. That is cash money. All right, we can go for a drill in front. And we can maybe get away with a poison, depending on what happens. We need to get back to Bond Tower. This is a bit of an aggressive play, but I think it's the right play to do. All right, so that kills. The little Prince in cycle. So how is he going to get damage in the middle? going to keep doing the same play. That's super good for me today. Goblins after, guarantee that we don't take as much damage. Evil Bomber. Ooh, did he make a prediction? Hope not. That's scary, man. Alright, so gradually we're getting wheeled down, which is not something I like to see, but it is what we have to deal with, I guess. Pretty aggressive play for him to do that. Okay. 
unfortunately back like we never even left. Okay. All right. All right. We got to get something through here so I can maybe win a few little princes that I'm probably screwed. He's going to Earthquake. Oh, let's go. Okay. All right. A little bit too close for comfort. Not going to lie. Oh, my goodness. The comeback. This is why we do these things. <laughs> I am sorry that I had to steal Pastor Al from you. Um, it had to be done. It had to be done. It had to be done. Wow, that was a little bit, a little bit too close for comfort. Um, that I had to go full all in. If you guys didn't notice, what I did is I had to leave an opening for him to Little Prince in the middle to kill me, and <laughs> I had to hope that he was gonna go like er earthquake log cycle and then spam and pray that my units would do enough damage. So like I left an opening. I had to pick like if I was gonna win or lose based off that, and uh, it worked out. So hey, I mean we take those. All right, we're gonna use the skeleton barrel to hopefully activate King Tower. Hey, let's go. Right, we're, we're doing well today. We're doing well today. I'm feeling good today. Whew, all right, a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult. Uh, the clan is, can you beat me? And then uh, we'll be kicking people each time. Oh yeah, if you guys um, win, you have to take a screenshot of the win and post it in my Discord server. Uh, there's a Discord server, sir tag, um, discord.gg slash sir tag. And what that does, is it allows you guys to fill out a support thread and say, hey, I beat Tag, I'm better than him, um, and then you get you get the pass route. That's the way that we do it. We give uh, away way pass route to anyone that chokes is that they beat me in, uh, in this. All right, so yeah, just open up a support tab and a support thread or whatever, get it? Also, uh, I think we won already, which is very cool. Um, you know, for getting through these games as fast as possible, the golden decks are going to be pretty good to play because then you either beat me or you lose really fast, and then uh, we move to the next game. Goblin Drill or Control Decks, it eats up a lot of time, so, you know, it's calculative from a standpoint of me trying to <laughs> minimize the amount of games I play, but if I want to maximize the games I'm about, uh, I want to play, that, like, right now, then you guys will be seeing me playing a lot of uh, beatdown decks. Clan didn't pop up? Yeah, we'll do a couple. Well, we'll show you, we'll show you um, the clan again. Locked in and came in clutch. Yeah, that was a very good game. Very fun one, too. You another clan? I'll show it. I'll show it. Wow, 1v1. Yes, sir. All right, so we're just going to go for Nightwitch behind the golem, and we should be able to build up a pretty big push. I'm definitely excited for what's to come. Uh, I bet you can't beat me, says Mr. Suture. Maybe, man. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Another clan? Uh, I might do more clans. Uh, you guys have been asking for that for a bit. Who knows? Um, Evo Zap kills Evo Firecracker, but I think I just killed the Firecracker anyway. Pop the ability here. And then possibly just win. GG. Very cool. So this is looking super, super good for us. I just don't see a situation where I'm in a bad spot anymore. I think, like, genuinely, like, this should be a uh, three crown. We'll just Evo Zap on this, because then the Firecracker is dead, and the Baby Dragon stays locked and loaded. The uh, Evo Bomber is going to be able to shatter him. That was pretty good. I saw the start of the game. What a way to start. I know. That was insane. Plan is full. Do you kick people after every game? Yep, I do. Sometimes I'll wait a split second, but... Um, this is Sparta! Everyone that we play against. All right, he left, so I wasn't able to kick him. But yeah. I will kick people after every single game. Also be switching decks quite often. Then we're unpredictable. No one knows what we're going to be playing. Man got cooked? Yeah, I mean, hey, I, I think I had a decent matchup there. If you've got Mega Knight and you're playing into a Golem deck, you should almost always lose, in my opinion. All right, we're going to Knight in the back first play because this is a strong card to cycle. Uh, when you have an evolution, it's a, it's a good vibe. What do you think about the Battle Ram Evolution? Uh, I don't think they tested the card at all, or maybe they just don't understand how to play the game, because uh, it's it's not good for the game. Definitely to be beyond overpowered. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what they do. But I think Bridge Bam is probably going to be like the strongest thing in the game uh, as soon as that's introduced to the game. So maybe they're just trying to milk a lot of money. Who knows? It is what it is. 
that's also kind of the important thing of getting past Ral, right? If you get past Ral, you get the freaking Battle Ram evolution, and then you win every game that you play. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. I don't have any evolutions because there's no chance I win. Uh, there's, n I mean, you can still beat me without evolutions. You just have to play a deck that like works without them. Uh, for instance, like Sparky decks work pretty well without that many evolutions. Uh, Sparky is just a really strong card with Goblin Giant and Rage, and you can get your opponent in situations where you can beat them. Uh, graveyard deck, graveyard with Splash Shard only really needs Evo Knight, and then you don't need any other ev evolutions. Totally depends on the deck that you're playing. If you're deciding, hey, I'm going to play an Elixir Golem deck with uh, Evo Skeletons and Evo Bats without the evolutions, that deck doesn't work. Really dependent on the deck that you're playing. You look handsome today. Hey, thank you so much, man. I love that. I love, I love seeing kind-hearted people in the community. Uh, thank you for <laughs> bolstering my confidence, brother. <laughs> really, really appreciate that and appreciate you. Anyway, we're going to go for a log here. Uh, you... I don't know. I, I really... Um, I'm gonna say straight up, like I have a lot to thank from you guys for real. Like, uh, I don't know. Whenever I just want to do things uh, and I want to stream and I want to play a game that I enjoy, this community and the streams just always put me in a good mood. So, yeah, just want to say thank you guys. Um, that's like I think that's really important in life is to have things that you look forward to, and it's it's nice to be around people that are good people. It's also really nice to be in communities that are full of people that you want to be around. It's also nice to be able to replic uh, have like a replication of things that you enjoy doing and you're able to do it on a consistent basis. What's the Discord? It's discord.gg slash sirtag. Wait, this guy's playing well. Uh, not playing well, brother. Brother man, understand that I do not enjoy losing to you. Oh, we're going to get Evo Bombard, right? I'm honestly surprised if he doesn't even bomb me right now. Wait, what am I doing? I don't think I'm playing very well. Honestly. Wait, is he gonna pre-poison the one time? I don't know. Wait, he's not gonna pre-poison. Ah! <laughs> I just got outplayed. Oh, that was so painful. He's just better than me. He's just better than me. What the heck, bro? Don't be better than me at this game, brother man. Don't do that to me, brother man. All right, I understand that I did the most predictable play, but dude, you played so much better than me and it's painful to watch. Oh, he missed that. All right, well, he's gonna NATO. It's fine, totally. That's sad. It's actually sad. A little bit sad. All right, he's not back to the bomber. Right? I'm willing to bank that he's not back to Evo Bomber, so I think I'm fine with that. Where's the, where's the regular bomber? Did he cycle it? There he cycled it in the back. Now I feel like a dum dum. No! Now I'm a very big dum dum. Yeah, well played. GG, you played extremely well, man. Also, this is a tough matchup, but I think he played well and he deserved the win. Hog Rider! <laughs> I have to Earthquake on defense! <laughs> uh, well played, well played, well played. Alright, so we're going to take a screenshot of this guy. He deserved to beat me. He played better. He also played a very, very strong deck. Um, Where is it? The Electric Do Goblin, all you have to do, go to your battle log, take a screenshot here, and then post it in the Discord under the uh, support tab. Yeah, dude, you get past your owl. GG and well played, and it was a fun game. So now we're going to run it back and we're going to play a different, well, we're going to play the same deck because I'm a stubborn person. <laughs> Yo, will you stream on Twitch or YouTube only now? Um, I usually stream on YouTube a lot. Uh, I stream kind of on both, but YouTube's just better. YouTube is like the better superior platform. I love, 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 love YouTube. And I'm also going to be streaming a lot more on my second YouTube channel called More Tag. If you guys haven't subscribed there or check that out, um, yeah, I'm going to be creating more content as I continue to figure things out. Been figuring out a lot of personal life stuff recently. Um, also, whether it's related to taxes, because tax season is coming up, friendship stuff, like a whole bunch of things I've been trying to work through and figure out recently, like the last couple days. So because of that, I just haven't necessarily um, like really put my uh, <laughs> aspirations forward with the new streaming endeavors. Like 
I have figured out some new things that I want to do to grow the channel, but I haven't actually been able to put those into reality yet. Uh, that will be happening in the next couple of days, week, or whatever. Um, just been gung-ho with everything else in life. Um, I think it's important to like really give yourself time to compartmentalize and really make sure that you're making the right decisions on everything. Like I don't want to jump into streaming on the channel incorrectly and like give you guys a bad impression. I think it's really bad to not have a plan and you get a you just get into doing something and you look at yourself and you're like I'm an idiot. Why did I just like waste my time um, streaming with no plan and give everyone like this horrible uh, first impression that you know could have been a lot better. So. I want to make sure that when I'm doing that, it's actually meaningful. Um, yeah, I, I want to do something on the second channel. I kind of have like some new assets ready for for that, and I'm kind of excited. So we'll see. All right, already Battle Ram keeps hitting the tower until it loses all health. Freeze gonna come in clutch. Oh yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, I feel like Battle Ram Freeze is like pretty bad, but like Evo Battle Ram Freeze might be a strategy. Basically, like a hog rider. Okay. Also, why are we matching at everyone with tornado? <laughs> He didn't pre-poison, he pre-delivered, wow. Yeah, he played really well. Like, obviously, I think it was obvious that I was gonna go in for the uh, firecracker there, right? But, at the same time, dude just played so well. That is like, the definition of a deserved win. If you play well enough to do that, even if you have a good matchup, like genuinely, no matter what skill level, what rank, whatever you are, if you're able to make those type of plays, it's it's ballsy to do, it's not easy to do, and it's something that I respect. Um, please let me play. Uh, hopefully we get to play against you. Uh, from a statistics perspective, it's unlikely that you will be able to play against me. Um, there's a lot of people in the chat, there's a lot of people in the stream, but we do get through around, I don't know, uh, a ton of matches, like 30 matches-ish, so 30 out of a thousand people will be playing against us at least. Well, there's 978 people right now, so 30 out of, sometimes there's more than that, sometimes we do like 50 matches. Yeah, like a, d a decent number of you guys, you know, a decent number. Um, like if we, say it like statistically wise like generally like i guess more people go into the chat and stuff but around five percent i don't know so this is decent five percent of people will get to play against me that's a pretty low percentage but it is what it is um how's the stream yo uh we're doing pretty well man and also five percent each time right so pretty cool pretty cool all right let's keep going uh let's play a different deck because that hog rider deck is not boating super well for us we'll play this go Send me the friend link. I uh, commented on the membership page. Yeah, if you do comment on the membership page, I'll get after it after this. I'll send you the friend link right after I do the stream. Do you get picked? Uh, you don't get picked. You pick me. Uh, basically, you have to join the clan, and then you get to play against me. If you join fast enough. All right, let's go Executioner here. It's Tornado time. That should be a very dead hog rider. It should only get one hit. Not that big of a deal. And we're up a lot. So as long as he doesn't have rocket, I think I just win. How does he defend this? Maybe I'm crazy. Oh wait, no, there's no way, right? There's no way he defended that. Oh my gosh, Ken, you're so uh not fun to play into. Oh my goodness, this is actually a really bad matchup. Hmm. How am I gonna beat Cannoneer Tesla Tornado? <laughs> I'm not scared, you're scared. Oh, this is not good. This is really not good. Mamma mia. Alright, I think we're fine just because like I'm able to do that NATO and isolate his knight away so he doesn't body block our hog rider counter. Uh, if you end up dropping a knight at the river, it stops the hog rider body blocker, like the bodyguard, aka um, this guy decided to go in for a knight plus hog rider. We stopped his knight from crossing so then our tornado uh, was able to actually target what we wanted. Made a pretty big deal. Can I try to beat you, IGN? Uh, yeah, I mean, you got to join the clan, though. Uh, it's open to everyone. You just have to join at the right time. You forgot to kick the last guy? Yeah, I don't kick everyone immediately, but I will kick them eventually. I swear. It will happen. I will find you, and I will kick you. That uh, John Wick somewhere, sometime. Okay. Do this. Do this. Oh, I'm stupid. But it works! Hey, hey, let's go. My Clash need to update. Oh yeah, if you guys haven't updated Clash Royale, 
you can now input a creator code if you update your game. So that was bugged for a long time. You guys can finally uh, use my creator code in the shop if you are spending money on Clash Royale, which I mean, everyone has their own tolerances. I'm never going to tell you guys to spend money on the game. But if you do spend money, I will tell you guys to use your creator code because it allows us to create content. Anyway, um, yeah, that's one of those things. Like, <laughs> I, I will never advocate for you guys to spend money on a mobile game unless you actually want to. If it's like something that you derive enjoyment from and you really want to, then go for it. Oh, that executioner hit the tower somehow. That's pretty cool. Yes. Pull the hog rider. And looks like we take a W again. GG. That was actually a really tough matchup. Please kick all the players who use the annoying firecracker. <laughs> My guy doesn't want to see firecracker. I love it. Oh, that's so funny. He's just like, I don't even want you to kick anything. I just want you to kick uh, the firecracker players. Dude, I'll fulfill the prophecy. I'll fulfill the mission. I understand the assignment. I understand the assignment. All right, wait, did he leave yet? Uh, Electric Goblin, you need to take a screenshot of it. So just take a screenshot of it in your battle log and go to my Discord. See how salty I am? I can't believe I would ever kick someone that beat me. <laughs> uh, all right. Go to leaderboard and see if there's anything fun. Oh, yes. That is a fun deck. Why did my game just update? Huh? Come on. Come on. What? Which is, what? Why did it force update on me? Uh, you were right. I don't know what the heck that was, but it happened. How did you sleep last night? I didn't sleep super well. Um, Happens though. I, I did force myself to stay in bed until like uh, 11. So I got, you know, solid over eight hours of sleep. Uh, so I did sleep decent afterward, but I just like, you know, sometimes you just think a lot, you know, you're sitting uh, in bed thinking and you're like talking to friends or like you're, you, you're like, oh, wow, I have a lot of work to do. Like I'm going to stay up and do things. It's kind of sometimes it just happens. And that's what happened last night. So I just went to bed a lot later than normal. Um, but hey, I'm working on that. As I've said before, that is actually one of my big things that I need to do in life is I need to go to bed earlier. Um, hopefully we can accomplish that. Oh, there's a new challenge. Oh, I haven't done that yet. I'll be streaming this tonight. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, every single time that there's a new challenge in the game, I will always, always, always be there to highlight it and show the best way of winning it. And I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. I vibe that. I, I take sleep support often, says Chloe. Yeah, but like, doesn't sleep support make you feel like terrible when you wake up? Like whenever you have melatonin, don't you just feel like trash? For me, I just feel like trash. So I try not to. The guy that played NATO and Tesla is definitely stream snipe, total cheater. Everyone snipes that stream snipes. <laughs> Everyone stream snipes. And also, you're allowed to stream snipe and like build a deck to beat me or whatever. I don't think he did because I was switching decks every time, right? Like there's no way he knew I was gonna be playing Hog Rider. One of the things that I've been doing is I've been switching decks. He just played one of the stronger decks in the game, which is Goblin Drill. It's one of the best decks in Clash Royale right now. So that's kind of what happened. He didn't really purposely expect me to play Hog Rider and then predicted it. I mean if he did, then he's actually a freaking genius. But he, there's no way he could have known. No way he could have known. And also, if you do stream snipe me, that's good. Like, congratulations. I switch decks every single time, so it's impressive if you were able to make that type of prediction. If anything, like, I'm impressed. So, yeah. Don't stream, bro. You said you were going to fix your sleep. Uh, well, right now, it's 2 p.m. right now. So, I'm in a good spot. Like, I, I did fix my sleep, I guess. Like, I slept eight hours. Oh, you're talking about don't stream up, don't wake, <laughs> yeah, don't stay up until 2 a.m. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's unfortunately, that is going to happen. I, I'm gonna, I, I, I do want to. It gives me a reason to, and I was going to do it anyway. Challenge is garbage, by the way, because almost every card is weak against the very strong and game-breaking troops. Uh, I, I mean, here's the thing. Those challenges, they might feel really annoying, and they might feel like a waste of time, and they might feel awful, but that also is probably because you don't know how to play it yet. And once I show you how to play it, you might really, really enjoy it. I love master crafting like a creative strategy that actually works really, really, really well in those game modes. It gives me immense enjoyment to be able to look at the things that I'm doing and be like, hey, we came up with a way to win in a situation that most people would never be able to uh, enjoy this game mode. And then you start enjoying the game mode because you're winning all the time. If the difference between winning and losing is a drastic change for a lot of people, They'll enjoy things that they typically don't like um, if they're able to win a lot. So, you know, 
uh, just stay tuned for the challenge. If you're not like, liking it right now, maybe you'll just win a lot of games and you'll love it. Kind of cool, unlocking free things as well. I like that as well. I like the fact that Clash Royale gives us a variety of different um, goods and things to unlock in these challenges. It's their most generous thing because a lot of people don't win the challenges. You know, since on average, like, you get three wins in a challenge before you get three losses. Like, three and three is, like, on average, right? If, if Most people don't get past three wins. So then they can have the rewards be pretty good, right? It just makes sense for them. Uh, they can have really good ending rewards because most people don't get there. <laughs> but if you guys do get there and you're, you're following the channel, you're subscribed to me uh, because I end up giving, like, pretty good tips on how to win those and I show how to win without even spending money on the game. Um, yeah, it should... You should maybe have a different outlook on it. I don't know. All right, all righty. We're going to go in for a bomber in the back and we'll see what he does. If he wants to spam enemy, this is totally fine. So we can go for little prince. Figure it out. Nobody knows your next move. I know. Seriously. No one, no one does know. I don't really do multi-streaming. All right. What do we do here? Probably like a battle ram after we kill this Tesla. Maybe make a prediction with the Mother Witch. Honestly, this just makes me happy being able to go battle ram right into him. Hard for him to defend this. Pop the ability so the Mother Witch is an ever-present menace. And I think I win because the uh, Mother Witch now converts piggies. Oh, well, we, I guess we're going to win anyway. Looking very, very good for us. I believe that we can three crown so we can move to more games quicker. That's uh, the, the promise that I have to you guys. I'm going to try, if I can win a game fast, I'll try to win the game fast so we can get more games in this uh, video playing session. Talk about the new Tower Troop. I did not even take a look at the new Tower Troop. Like, I understand that it fires faster than a regular... Uh, like, that's what I assume. It fires faster than the Cannoneer because, like, they had a really slow tower and they have the regular tower and I'm sure they're going to make a really fast attacking tower. Um, so that, that was one thing that I realized I was like, oh, wow, that's pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's what they're doing right now. They have a really fast attacking tower. Uh, that's what it does. I think so it'll be interesting to see how that interacts in real game. Like, I don't know the stats. I don't know how strong it is. I don't know what it really does from a standpoint of like, is it going to be better than Cannoneer? Because right now, Cannoneer is definitely the best tower, uh, objectively. So maybe this one is usable in every single deck because the Cannoneer is definitely way more situational. If you think about it, since the Cannoneer needs to be supported by bait cards. needs to be supported by, like, Mother Witch. needs to be supported by arrows. needs to be supported by other things that can pack, pick up the slack where it really sucks into situations where it doesn't delete goblins. It doesn't delete skeletons. Like, it will struggle against Graveyard. You need to have answers the cards that you lose to so it's just something to keep in mind all right we're gonna pop the ability we do snipe a spirit and then yeah looking really really good tag only choosing easy opponents take an opponent like me best believe he's gonna get put to the dirt well i wish i was you know able to choose opponents <laughs> i just do it man I just, I just go in like whoever i play against i get and also don't insult everyone like i lost i someone completely outplayed me um, you know, like genuinely, um, I just jump in and whoever accepts the match, it's to play against me. I think that's the best way of doing it. So then I don't choose. If I did choose, then, you know, I think it would be like favoritism. It'd be pretty bad. Like sometimes I'll choose professional players at the end to play against because you guys want to see me get wrecked by, uh, people that are way, 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 way better than me. Uh, just for the fun of it. So sometimes we'll play against pros at the very end. Maybe we'll do that today. We'll have to wait and see. Truly, I can beat you. Too predictable. Dang, you guys are confident today. I love the enthusiasm. I seriously love this. I eat this up. I want to see you guys be confident that you can crush me. It makes it more fun. All right, so what are we going to do here? How are we going to win this? Strategy definitely hinges on that battle ram not. Ooh, I was going to say the battle ram getting hit first, but I guess that did not work out. Wow, that was not cash money for us at all. We do not hit the ice spirit. We do want to go for a Royal Ghost on the right-hand side. The fact that the Bomber is still alive is crazy. Like, look at the value that I'm getting from that card. Royal Ghost is going to give us some damage as well, but... Ooh, that's an interesting Hog Rider. Hog Rider! Interesting Log. I think that the Hog dies, and the Log did nothing. 
All right, so this is obviously extremely good for us. We'll go for a battle ram here. Go for evil bomber with the P.E.K.K.A. After we arrows on the firecracker and kill that. And then the battle ram's going to get through. And then I'm pretty sure he loses because he needs Mighty Mire to body block. You can't firecracker in the face of the bomb or the barbarian. And without the Mighty Miner and skeletons, you have nothing to defend that. So it's just dead. All right, we're going to click the ability as soon as we possibly can so we can knock that back. The Royal Ghost is definitely going to take the targeting for a little bit. Then we can go in for a Mother Witch directly on top of the Firecracker, get three shots, and it converts into a pig. Not two, unfortunately, but three. And then the pig is going to take the tower? Wait, does his own unit take the tower? Oh my gosh, the disrespect. The pig pigged out on Dion and destroyed him. That was interesting. It was a good time, though. Delay in stream? Uh, I don't know. Not really sure. Probably a little bit. Sir Troll Tag. I guess I am a little bit of a troll. Why are all champions overpriced? Uh, that's just kind of how it is, bro. Champions are overpriced because they're the most expensive and unique and interesting card that the Clash Royale has added to the game. Aw, oh, don't say that you're washed, man. I love you. Dion, you, you played okay, man. Like, don't worry about that stuff. Sometimes you make mistakes. You misplace a building. Don't, don't feel embarrassed, bro. I make a lot of uh, mistakes as well. Uh, are you a top 100 player? What is your peak? Uh, wait, did I read that correctly or am I stupid? Are you a top 100 player? One, when peak? Uh, yeah, I was like better than top 100. I was consistently finishing top 10 in the world on other accounts uh, when I didn't have a maxed account. I played top 10 and I finished top 10 very, very, very frequently. Um, on this account, I think the highest I finished was top 20. Uh, it doesn't even calibrate into my thing because it's like so old. But uh, usually, like, I guess I had some finishes top 88. Yeah, stuff like that. It was a while back. I was 88 in the world probably... Three years, four years ago. Um, yeah, it's really long time ago. Uh, recently, it's all been top 1,000. That's kind of where I've been. Around top 1,000 in the world. 1,100 was like two seasons ago. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I am. 1,900 like last season. I didn't try at all last season. Um, season before that. Oh, last season, I was one game away from top like 800 and I lost. And then the season before that, uh, I was top one game away from top 600 and then I tilted all the way down. Season before that was 900. I was 900 in the world, and I was like, let's play one more game. And then I freaking lost. And then I got 1,200 in the world. And I looked at myself, I'm like, damn, if only I just didn't do that. <laughs> so, as you can see, like, I always want to reach higher goals, and that's kind of how I am in real life as well. Like, I very rarely am satisfied with, like, um, I don't know. I, I always want to get better. I always want to improve. I'm, I have a very, very, very high drive to do things, and uh, a lot of motivation. But it is what it is. Sometimes it smacks me in the face. Because <laughs> I overdo it. Any uh, decks for Arena 13, I keep getting slammed. Yeah, so if you're looking for a great deck to push up all the arenas, I will post the link to the pinned comment. Uh, you check the pinned comment on this video. And it will show you a series where I push all the way up from like Arena 14 or 15 or whatever to Arena 23. And I use the same deck. And that video series shows you how to upgrade the deck, how to progress. I have live streams beating each arena. So check out that pinned comment if you want to see that all in action. And by the way, it's all under leveled. So if you have medium card levels or decent card levels, it'll be even easier for you than it was for me. For me, it was on hard mode because I wanted to show it as a challenge. Because you know, I am a top 1000 player. If I'm a top 1000 player and I'm playing against casual players, it's not really fun if I have even card levels. So I decided, screw it. Let's beat level 15 Mega Knight with like level 11 cards. So you guys can check that out and pin comment if you want to. Pretty fun. I think uh, I truly like your streaming commentating cycle. I think you're fair. Don't underestimate opponents. BM only when deserved. And it's funny and intelligent. Keep up the great work. Spears from Braz. Dude, hell yeah. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Honestly, like either you're going to vibe with me or you don't. And it's nice to find a community that does vibe with me for the most part. Really, really cool. Uh, so, thanks again. I, I said this earlier, but very grateful for the people that we have here. And it's it's interesting because like, I don't know. I think I'll always have like a good community. Like, for for years we have had it, and I haven't. I didn't really appreciate it as much until um, not recently, but like a year ago. Wow, my voice just died. Ooh, wow. Okay. Well, maybe if maybe if I die, then we won't be able to. But hopefully that doesn't happen. But for the most part, like you know. We're, we're just in a really, really good spot where um, I, I I can look at you guys and be like, damn, it's nice to have a group of people that are super supportive and vibes with me. It's, it's good for mental. It's really, really good for mental. 
during the era of 2020 where I just wasn't able to do anything. I didn't really go outside. Uh, I didn't interact with too many people. I think you guys kept me sane. So that was the, the I think one of the bigger realizations for me. I was like, damn, um, I literally have one of the best jobs in the world because human interaction, even though there is no human interaction, like um, because there's a screen separation, but it's nice because um, sometimes you just forget to interact with people if you are like a software engineer and you are kind of sort of just grinding aimlessly towards that goal, like a code monkey. Um, not necessarily always the easiest thing, right? So let's go. Also, uh, NDKM, uh, we do not like when people spam the same message over and over again, like go to sleep. Uh, I'm not gonna go to sleep. I wanna play my game. That's kinda, kinda weird, my guy. <laughs> Don't spam that in the chat. Uh, those type of things do end up getting you um, yeah, those are the type of messages, like if you spam the same thing over and over again, uh, you do get timed out and or banned. And I just want to make sure that my mods don't ban you. I want to like give you a warning because, you know, uh, you're a subscriber and stuff like that. I just don't want you to. Uh, where's the pin comment? The pin comment will be uh, up later. Yeah. Um, I've been so busy trying to join the clan. All right, all right. I'll, I'll start looking. I'll start kicking people from the clan. Uh, I forgot about uh, kicking people. There's still people that are... That I played recently that I haven't kicked out. I'll, I'll go through my friend list. I love you, Dad. Says Joel. Dang, dude! Shout out to Joel's dad. All right. Um, popping the ability here is generally pretty stupid, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, drills in his face. That's great. The battle room's gonna die. We can go in for a bomb tower here as well. It'd be really good to splash onto his stuff and not give him the heal spirit value that he's hoping for. Yep, that's perfect. That was actually perfect gameplay. The bomb tower completely cleaning up elite barbarians, the battle ram barbarians, and the heal spirit. That's clutch. All right, we're gonna go in for goblins here. The bandit's also gonna die. Then we can go for wall breakers on the right hand side. I think they do break through. Poisoning here seems really stupid. I'm not gonna do that. I wanted to for a second, but I decided not to. You know, you feel me, my guys? It was a decent decision until it wasn't. All right, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna go for a Goblin Drill, and we're gonna go Wall Breakers. Passes for next season. Well, pass is just gonna be given whenever I can give it to you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. If you ask any people that won the pass route previously, they are like, I really want the pass immediately. And I'm like, okay, well, like, just because of my time schedule, I generally give it within, like, two weeks. Like, it generally takes me, like, two weeks to process everything and give all the, uh, the payouts and everything not immediately, but you guys will get it definitively within like two, three weeks. Just adjust expectations accordingly and don't expect to get it within like five seconds. Just uh, just for, <laughs> you know, full transparency for y'all. Y'all don't get disappointed by me. All right, anyway. Delivery about to deliver the dominance. And that destroyed everything. We can go for a Goblin Drill and Wallbreakers. Very cool. Thank you for the energy you put uh, into the world, fam. Damn, dude. That's what we like to hear. Um, sometimes my energy is a little bit chaotic. Not gonna lie. Me screaming at a computer screen is not something that everyone enjoys. <laughs> I'm glad that you appreciate it, though, man. I'm glad that you vibe with that level of energy. It's kind of fun. Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely a good time. Very cool. Oh, by the way, guys, I saw um, uh, some people that recognized me in Seattle uh, two days ago. That made me really happy. Made me really, really happy. Shout out to Julia. Um, anyway, I don't think she's watching this right now, but if she is, she's OP. And also, um, I don't know. Like, I, I just really want to see. Uh, I, like, if you guys ever see me in Seattle, always come up to me. It's so much fun. It's so much fun seeing people. So please. Where are you from? I'm from Seattle. Right now, I'm living in Seattle. All right, we're gonna go goblins. Uh, come down to Miami. Miami, we can run things down there, dude. Miami, I have some friends there. I have a few friends in Miami right now, and they all play tennis, and they're all better than me by a lot. <laughs> so I kind of, I kind of want to go back to Miami. How'd you get so good? I've just played the game a lot. Uh, I play this game way too much, kind of no life it. I've been playing it for okay. You know what? Here's the biggest flex y'all will ever see in your lives. All right. Also, the biggest insult that you can ever see. Like I'm literally, oh man, I, th this is it. This is this is what it. This is what it should be. Oh man. So guys, I was on dating apps a long time ago. Um, not really a long time ago, but 
Yeah, I was using them and uh, I, I was considering just memeing around and showing like this massive number and then equating it to like hours played just as a, something to screw around with. I don't, I don't know how many hours this is, but I think it's like many. How, how many how many days is that? What does my Royal API say? How many how many months have I been playing Clash Royale of my life? But this is 1,300,000 cards won. Imagine like <laughs> trolling and being like, I do that. Anyway, that's the that's one thing that no one would ever like that. Where was it? Yeah, I didn't do anything that stupid, but uh, I was considering doing that back in, I don't know, whenever I made my profile in October. Um, was it October? I don't know. But yeah, around then. Um, where is it? Okay. How much do you guys want to guess? How many hours? How many weeks do you think I've played this game? I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm going to post it in the chat. Oh, this is just scary. This is actually scary that this is the case. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I, I can't. I can't. I... I, I the, you guys uh, don't really understand like what I how how often I've played this game. If and if you don't, you'll be astonished. All right, here it is. Y'all had some time. Y'all had some time to understand, and now here is the actual thing. Oh, not like that. Not like that. Good time played. Whew. Okay, here we go. So minimum time spent playing 25 weeks of my life straight, two days and 18 hours. <laughs> how many, how, how many days is 25 weeks? 25 times seven. Oh my gosh. 175 days straight of playing Clash Royale. It's not that bad, right? It's not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Not that bad, dude. It's not even uh, not even half a year. Not even half a year. We're chilling. We're chilling. <laughs> wait, wait. Total is twenty six weeks. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no. I for I forgot that that was a thing. Uh, so we're at a. <laughs> we're we're currently sitting at a uh, one <laughs> one eighty eight one hundred and eighty eight days of my life playing Clash Royale straight. Okay. But yeah, if you guys are wondering why am I so good at this game, probably because I played a lot. So that's uh, that's just like something that I have done way too much of. Anyway, that is uh, hopefully transformative for your guys' brains to understand. <laughs> this is this is what I did. This is what I did. I played Clash Royale a lot. It was uh, it was a good time. Anyway, get back to business. Keep playing. Oh. How, how many people are spamming touch grass in the chat right now? Actually wild? I know. Actually insane. 188 days of my life playing this video game. Great. Like, this is not like, oh, I played it for like an hour in that day. Or I've been playing Clash Royale accumulatively for half of a year. Like, no, I've played it for a year straight without like blinking, without like grabbing food. Like, that is literally the time that I've spent in the game. Pretty funny. It's your job. I have worked more than you've played. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's a coping mechanism, right? But to be honest, I played the game before it was my job. <laughs> but obviously, I haven't played it to that extent until it was like a job type thing. The cool thing is like I am able to do something that I love every single day as part of my job. So I'm very lucky. Also, I think I lost. I lost. There's no way to defend this. Oh, oh. Oh, we're alive! We're alive! Let's go! Let's get it! That's huge! That's what we call a gigantic W! Oh man, that's 4.5k hours. Yep. <laughs> You've pay played 4,532 hours. Dang, dude. Imagine the sweatiest mobile gaming athlete you've ever seen. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thankful for my job and what I've been able to do. Very, very lucky. 
Alright, let's pop the ability. Pop off. Dude, we are definitely not in a good spot. I'm trying to think of how I want to win this, and I don't really have an answer. Release the demons. Okay, that didn't really work either. This is actually horrible. I just cycled my knight. I'm so stupid. I'm actually impressively dumb. I am impressively stupid. Oh, this got even worse. I thought that was going to work. Oh, this got even worse. It's going to hurt me even more. Oh, it's not even dying. This is so much fun. Stop it. Alright. Well, we realized that we cannot go on the same side anymore. Please go bats and do goblins. Yes? Nope, that's the dark ones. Alright. Very fun. Unique gameplay from me. Alright, where do this? I do want to continue to spam, but at the same time... Just can't guarantee the values. Hopefully he's skeleton armies, but who knows? Please. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Beautiful. Serendipitous. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 watch. He's gonna go for bats? Am I stupid? I might actually just be dumb. What am I doing? I'm dumbfounding my own I'm dumbfounding myself with my own stupidity. Alright, we're gonna pop the ability. We're gonna zap on the bats. Oh, that killed everything! Yo, 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 no way. Alright, we can fire spirit. We can prelog a skeleton army and finesse. Fire spirit might even jump. Yo, that prelog. I manifested it. Hey, hey. Think so nice about stream sniping too kind? Well, you can't really change anything. That's part of the thing, right? Like, that's part of the challenge, my dude. It's part of the challenge. Alright, we're gonna start kicking people. Oh no, we're kicking everyone. We're kicking everyone. We just kicked three people. We're a menace. Alright, I can't believe they didn't leave. I was surprised. Anyway, we kicked three people. There's three spots in the clan. Are they open? And no one's joining. No one's joining. Oh, wait. They joined really fast. Oh my gosh, you instantly joined. People instantly joined. <laughs> Kraken is cracked. Dude, he is wild. He he got in there so fast. That was that was actually impressive. All right, respectable, respectable. Anyway, so they are kicked. Yeah, no, they got kicked so quick. All right. Uh, you're actually so funny. Is unique gameplay by me? Oh, dude, yeah. We say unique gameplay when I mess up. Hundred percent. I bet that guy's heart beating is 120 BPM. <laughs> Stop avoiding me, says Roger. Roger, I feel like you're Roger Federer, bro. I can't challenge you. I just, uh, I've looked at, I've watched too much tennis, dude. Roger is an overpowered name. I run away from it. Penis log I've seen all day. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's quite the compliment, my guy. I appreciate that. That is, um, that's an interesting compliment, but we take those. Alright, uh, my mobile is a potato. It showed 50-50 even after kicking three people. Also, I'm sorry, my humor sucks, I realize. Um, we're gonna go for a ghost here, and we're gonna go for a bomber. Um, how do we win this? Do we do, like, guards? Switch on. Peg, you previously, uh, played a goblin drill deck. Is that better with cannoneer? Uh, yeah, usually. The goblin drill with cannoneer is generally gonna be a, be a bit better, because cannoneer allows you for better defenses. Uh, he missed the tornado. You can even hit that. Make a new clan. Uh, it's not really fair for all the people that are watching, that have joined in, that are still like trying to play against me. Can't necessarily do that right now. Doesn't even have time to show a spot open for 1.2k people. There's people spamming to uh, get the join button. I know. People are literally sitting there spamming. Like, I'm ready to join. I'm ready to join. It's OP, dude. I wish I was... Uh, at, I, I wish I had the fast mechanics that these people have. They're, they're just moving too quick. They're probably talented at Clash Royale for that reason. Yeah, if you go that quick, it's it's wild. Your 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 finger reflexes might be on a different level. I can't click fast enough, but I'm in your clan. Oh wow, okay. Well, you've already 
you know, there's multiple steps. You have to be fast enough to join the clan or just have notifications on. If you're a subscriber to the channel, then you'll get notified when I click these streams. And then, you know, when there were only like, at the very start, there were only like 100 people. And then it was very easy because the clan just filled up. So the people that had notifications on were able to join. And then as more and more people like saw that I was streaming, it became way harder for people to join later on. But yeah, the people that are notif have notifications um, that are subscribed to the channel generally get into this way faster than others. Um, and then, you know, like, I don't know if you guys know, but Smurf Blade has played against me like multiple times um, just because, you know, he's subscribed to the channel and is always here. He's generally in the, in the, in the, uh, he generally gets in the play, for instance. Uh, I can beat you in 30 seconds as Yoshi. Uh, maybe in Super Smash Bros, bro. You do, you do that little move where you poop me out as an egg and knock me out of the arena. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know about it in Clash. We'll have to wait and see. All right. I like your content. Thanks, dude. Clean plug? Yeah, I guess it was a clean plug. Sometimes, sometimes we do be that way. All right. Uh, did I lose with this deck? What did I lose with? I only lost with the Hoggutter deck so far. Not bad. Not bad. Who's your Smash Ultimate main? Uh, I'm super trash at Smash. Uh, I think I just played Bowser and I jumped up and down and I did the shell thing and kind of fun. Or Samus, Asamus. And uh, it was really fun, like going to the edge of the map, charging up a super and then chasing after some of my friends and just specifically targeting them with that. Uh, the good ones, like the, my friends that were actually really good at it. I would actively like just screw them over because I had no way to win. But I could mess up their chances of winning <laughs> to troll them. I'd be like, I got you, fam. And then you hit them with like a, a fully charged super. And then your mechanics are trash. So you're definitely like going to lose no matter who you play against at the end. It doesn't even matter what like uh, how much damage they've taken. I still lose. But it's really, really funny to like screw someone over and just be like, I got you. I don't know. I, I, there's something that hits different about that. It's pretty enjoyable. Not going to lie. Anyway. Um, I, I was a sadistic sir. You could do that with Mewtwo as well, but Mewtwo was harder to pilot for whatever reason. Why doesn't it wait in mass kick when, uh, people lost to giving... Oh, yeah, no, I do. Well, I do mass kick. I kick three people once. I'm a scorpion. I just played against you with a new giant night witch. Um, how was I? Oh, wait. Your name is scorpion. I thought you were like, I'm a Scorpio or scorpion. I'm like, well, I don't understand those things at all. Like, I don't understand the star signs or anything. Uh, generally, when people say that stuff, I'm like, wait, I, I don't know what that is. Like, I have no clue or understanding. And then I'm so lost in the sauce when they try to explain it to me. I'm like, no, I don't understand. I'm stupid. I don't understand. I don't get it. So it's kind of funny when um, people are, like, really into things that you don't know. And then you, um, oh, no. That's uh, then you, they just keep explaining it and you're like, well, that's cool, I guess. Um, it's all, it, it is cool to see people being really passionate about things though. I think that out of everything in life, like a lot of my friends, um, yeah, like I really want to be around people that are passionate and things that they do. They don't always have to be super passionate about everything, but to have goals in life and, uh, motivate me, like, yeah, it's pretty important. I think like if your friend circle... Um, doesn't motivate you it's kind of like a cage you know like you're not necessarily uh, you know if you look at all the people that you're around it's it's not really it's not a circle it's a cage in my opinion I don't know I, I think it's important to be around people that lift you up that motivate you make you a better version of yourself and um, yeah like that's generally like what I've noticed is even if I subconsciously want to be around people that uh, I guess like, I don't know. I, I I just, if I'm not around people that make me want to be better or make me happier, then it's just generally, even if they're like nice people, generally just doesn't work out uh, for like super long friendships and stuff like that. One thing that has really made a big difference for me. Um, I don't know. That made me like way, more, way, 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 way more happy um, recently, the past year or so. Trying to be around, uh, like my closest friends, at least, are people that motivate me. Anyway, that is one thing that I've, I've noticed. This specifically for myself. Anyway, let's get back to the game so we don't lose. We're not playing very well, are we? How am I losing right now? Like, what am I doing? I forget what his deck is. Like, is it Minor Poison? 
He should be throwing more poisons on us. Let's rock it. Oops, I'm bad. Let's pop the ability here because it tanks for the uh, mortar. Wait, he loses his mortar. That was a really bad aggressive mortar. He shouldn't have dropped that high up. He should have just probably rock it on our evolved mortar. If he rockets on the evolved mortar, he probably would have won the game. Yeah. You would have, I think you win the game there if you rock it on the evolved mortar. And then you um, you play aggressive with your own evolved mortar. Oh, I'm sorry that the audio was so bad. I'm so sorry about the audio. Is the audio fine now? Or was the audio fine? The cat was hissing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. GG, man. Oh, we love to see that. We love to see that. We love to see someone that says uh, GG and leaves. What a nice dude. He just left the game. He left too. He didn't even like make me kick him. That, that is a paragon of perfection, my guy. Bro focuses up for one second and destroys. <laughs> I mean, I've played this game a lot, right? I've played this game a lot, a lot. So that's, uh, that's just kind of how it goes. Like if I make good plays the entire time, uh, then you have to make good plays to keep up with me. And if you don't, then you lose. It's just kind of how Clash Royale is. It's the same thing um, when I play against people really good or people better than me. If they decide to make really, really good plays and make tests, if you don't perform well in the test, you lose the game. Uh, it's just kind of how it is. If someone tests you constantly with new pushes at the river that are actually difficult to defend, if you don't know the right way to defend against it, you instantly lose. All right. Let's keep going. I'm coming for you, Sir Tag. I'm ready. Put the volume back now? Okay. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> my guy's like, do you have a P.O. box? Uh, because I want to send you a pair of my used socks. I'm like, probably not, my guy. Probably not. I will have a P.O. box, but I don't think that it will be for you guys. It will mostly be for uh, business stuff. I don't think uh, we'll have like a P.O. box. We could do be a P.O. We could do a P.O. box and like openings of presents or something for like Christmas. If you guys want to send me Christmas stuff, I could do like a video on that. I think it'd be pretty funny. I know you guys would send me some, someone, someone would send me some really demented thing. Like there's no doubt that someone would actually, like judging by what we've gotten before, I think there would be some demented things, but from, uh, from my, my emails, I definitely, I know there would be some weird stuff, but I think it would add to the meme factor. I think it would add to the meme factor of the video. So I'm considering doing something like that for uh, like Christmas or something. I don't know. Music taste? Uh, I really like Connor Price right now. Uh, I really, really like uh, Post Malone. I I mean, there, there's just a ton of great songs um, right now. Uh, anything that I like working out is generally rap related. Um, yeah, and, and other stuff is more vibey like Post Malone. And I enjoy that a lot. I've devoted my last couple months to getting good at the game to give Sir Tag the claps. Dang, dude. <laughs> y'all are y'all are committed to the cause of wrecking me. All right, all right, I see it. I see it, say less. All right, so we're gonna go goblins here and I think I'm in a decent spot. I could poison on the graveyard and not lose the game. Uh, you wanna wait a split second before going for the poison because if you poison instantaneously, then you're wasting like, I don't know. You're just, you're, you're dropping at the wrong point basically. Oh, wait, it's very, very split second. I don't like today's music, says Chloe. Yeah, that's that's all good. Um, generally, like, you got to uh, enjoy what you like. If there's music that you enjoy, just keep listening to that, you know? Um, everyone has different tastes, and that's why there's so much different successful music. For instance, so many people love Taylor Swift. Um, I personally don't, like, listen to Taylor Swift, uh, but a lot of my friends do. So it's one of those things where it it's one of those... Uh, Music choices that a lot of people like. A lot, a lot of people. And if there weren't people that liked it, then it wouldn't be successful. But Taylor Swift is super successful. All right. Do someone season pass if they win? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I buy people pass rally. I send it to your account. Send it, ship it right to your account. You don't even have to do anything. There, there's no PayPal. There's nothing. You just add me as a friend, and then I send it to you. Let's keep going. Hey, hey. All right, we're chilling. We're having a really good spot. We've got some great games so far. How are the workouts going? They have not been great. Uh, I took a bit of a break because I got sick. So I took like a three-day break. I have not worked out in like three days. That sometimes happens. You know, sometimes you get sick and you don't want to push yourself. Um, that's actually a lie. I did push. <laughs> I did do leg day when I wasn't feeling well. But hey, uh, I'm back to normal today. I will work out today. We're having a good time. Other than me, has anyone once as AR? 
Dang, AR coming out with the big guns. He's like, can anyone else beat this scrub? I'm better. I'm better. I am better. <laughs> if you guys know that reference, you're, you're a legend. So, so shout out to AR. Shout out to AR for wrecking me. All right, we're going for a night here in the back, and then we'll see what else we can do. Post a battle request. Will you accept it? No, you have to accept mine. Do you have any tips for me? Uh, my name is Scorpion. I played against you in a video and lost. No, I don't have any tips for anyone that I don't remember the game. If I beat you today, and right after I beat you, you ask me, then I will give you tips. But also at the same time, I don't want to give people tips after I beat them. Uh, usually, like, sometimes people just want to enjoy the game. And they're just like, hey, I don't need tips from you. Like, I don't really care about that. Like, uh, it's disrespectful, like, to give me tips or, like, it's uh, annoying. Like, I just want to enjoy and have fun playing the game. Sometimes people are like that. And that's okay. That's totally fine. Like, as a streamer as well, like, uh, sometimes I don't want to have tips in specific situations. Um, I, I just want to enjoy playing the game with meme decks or something. Or maybe sometimes the tips are bad. And then if someone's like, yo, you're supposed to play the matchup this way. And I'm like, well, I've asked pro players and they told me specifically not to do that because I was doing that before it was bad. Like, sometimes people do that. Um, and that's the only time when it's triggering for me is like, if someone's like, freaking like, oh, go all in on the other side. What you did was the wrong play. And it's like, well, no, what I did was actually the high probability play. And the reason why I did it was because professional players have said that this is the right thing to do. But like, when they're wrong and then they give advice, I think that's one of the worst things. I don't know. Oh, oh, we were big brain. Oh, we devastated this man's mental. We dropped a firecracker right into the musketeer. It was dead. And then he fireballed. You're like, that, that hurts. That hurts. When you waste four elixir, and you fireball the middle of the map as like a sacrifice. That does not feel good. And I've done that before. I, uh, But... I did a stupid play, but it actually messed with his mental, and it definitely gave us a benefit because we also got four elixir out of him. So, like, no matter the way that you're looking at it, we're winning from that interaction. And then, of course, Firecracker is the most annoying card in the game. Like, legitimately, you look at the Firecracker and you're like, why does this thing do this? How is it still alive? How is it shooting everything? Like, you genuinely should not be able to get that amount of value of a card that's three elixir, but if your opponent doesn't have arrows, it's just so hard to kill. Tag, thanks a lot. You've ruined my relationship. My girlfriend has you as my screensaver, says uh, Dios. <laughs> I love you. I love you, man. Oh, uh, that's such a meme. Um, kick people? I, I got you. I'll kick people. I'll kick people. I will. I will. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop. I don't want to lose again. I really, I really don't want to lose against that. Or I, I didn't lose. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please. 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 Please! Stop! Stop! It got nerfed! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, that hurt my mental! How did that happen? It got nerfed and it did that! Flash Shroud, maybe don't have a one elixir card do that! How much elixir did I spend? How did I not die? All right, we're just we're 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 fine. It's 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 all under control. We're definitely we're definitely okay. I'm not even struggling even for a single second, guys. It was always under control, hundred percent. Oh my goodness, that was actually that was legitimately the most annoying interaction we have had all day. I don't even know what to say. That was uh, totally tragic. He's going. He's running it back. One of them's still alive, dude. It was it was gonna start multiplying on the firecracker again. Oh, that card is straight out of a horror movie. <laughs> there ain't no way that happened. Those skeletons were on a rampage. <laughs> oh, all right, so I guess you guys have understood the, the, the assignment. Put Evo skeletons in your deck and then you might be able to beat me by three crowning me. Oh man, that was funny. That was really funny. You have any nice colognes? All right, so this sounds really dumb. This is actually incredibly stupid, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. I just like deodorant. I don't really like cologne. Um, I think cologne just, a lot of the fragrant, fragrances just smell really, really awful. Uh, if you take a shower every day, you wear uh, deodorant, um, you're probably gonna be fine. That, that's like uh, the, the, the thing that I've realized. The other thing is I really, really like, um, I don't know, showering with, uh, with like, I don't know, shower gel that 
that was good. Like the Manscaped stuff that they sent me for free, I actually, every single time I got a sponsorship with them, I'm like, hey, send me more shower gel. So they ended up sending me like eight or nine bottles of shower gel. So I'm set for life. I'm set for life, my dude. I, out of all their products, the one I liked the most was the shower gel. <laughs> it smells awesome. It smells so good. I love, love, love that. So that was the funniest thing. Um, I don't think they wanted me to promote that at all, by the way. They did not, like, they're like, do we have to? I'm like, yes. <laughs> it is a prerequisite for the sponsorship. <laughs> so it was it was pretty fun to, like, mess with them to that degree, but it was uh, it was a big benefit for me. Uh, you should make a video on analyzing your viewers' games to give them tips. That's pretty boring, to be honest. I know it would be helpful for you guys in the same attribute, like, as me, like, helping someone and coaching them, um, but it's not that fun. Not that fun. I can also give you guys tips and uh, different things by playing the game, specifically my, by just giving you guys advice that way. That's also a thing. We're not going to get three crown, but we're definitely losing a tower here. All right. I Spank you. This is his name. I really thought like the clan combined with I Spank was, can you spank me for a second? And uh, we're definitely getting spanked. Not ideal. It's really not ideal. I don't like this. All right, so we're currently in a pretty bad spot. This is definitely deplorable, but it is a situation that might be salvageable still. That's evil bomber. Does this take his entire tower? For the two time, for the two time, for the two time? Ooh, we good. Okay, can we just drop another gold? Oh wait, I'm stupid, I'm actually dumb. I'm actually ridiculously stupid. Why did I do that? Does anyone know? I don't. That might have been the worst play I've ever done in my life. Possibly. Maybe not. Who knows? Imagine all the people. Wait, that doesn't take a loss. I have to zap on the other side and hope that the golem does enough because I don't think the zap does enough on the right. GG. Well played, man. I think the zap uh, does not do 66. That was so close. How much does damage does that do? 58. Yep. Oh, GG and well played. GG and well played, man. Wait. What if we did this? Have you guys ever... What if, what if we ended up having a theme where we did triple or nothing? <laughs> you win again? You get three pass rails. But if you don't, then you get, then you get zero. Well, I'm not doing it this stream. But I'm considering doing that for the future. What do you guys think of that? Or double or triple or nothing? You guys, would you guys ever want to do that? Or do you think that's a waste of time? Because then it doesn't allow us to play more games. Would you guys think of that? Gamba? <laughs> Maybe. We're not doing it this time. We're not doing it this time. I feel like it would feel bad though. That's why I was thinking triple or nothing. Because double or nothing is still not fair because it's a one vert it's a one one on one. Um, excuse me, don't Keeps the stakes higher, take a poll on your channel. I'm considering it. I'm considering it. That was one other thing. That was a great concept. Yeah, it was something like I don't know. Triple or nothing seems funny. Or 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 uh you could level it up for a diamond pass and then the, like you level up your gold pass to a diamond pass if you beat me a second time. And then if you don't, then you then you don't get anything. If we do that as a best of three, then I would have to win two games. But then it would also take more time, right? It would take more time. I don't know. I don't know if that's ever a thing. You can try and see how it goes. I don't know. I feel like people would sometimes be like upset if they like lost. I don't. I also don't want people to be upset. But there, ha there has to be stakes for it to be enjoyable or fun to watch. That would be the reason why. Anyway. Yeah, I'm considering that as a possibility for the future. You guys let me know if you like it or not. Or, or, or. Oh, man. Do I just keep saying or? <laughs> or and or. Come on, Marin. Just response. We can't uh, join. That's not fair. Uh, I will kick people so then you can join. You can. Well, maybe you won't be able to join, but other people will be able to join. Guaranteed. Uh, kick more people. I will kick more people after this game. Trust. More battles, more people get to play. Okay. Yeah, so at, it seems like most people are not in favor of that because... Less people get to play. Oh, wait, the mortar was placed incorrectly. Yikes. Uh, that's tilting, actually. 
Wait, that electric spear was bad because that allows them to use the mortar and hit stuff. Fine, maybe. All right, we have to play this correctly and not through the game. Uh, let's do this. Go minor here. All right. The tornado is actually super annoying. Tornado plus mortar definitely gives them a matchup advantage. Um, having a defensive building with a tornado is really hard to beat. All right, so we're going to go Executioner here. We should be able to get away with a Miner and a Balloon, and then see what we can do. We also have the ability to use Tornado on offense with the Executioner. There's a Rocket, though. That's crazy. All right, what is that? So then maybe we can get one Balloon hit if we're lucky. I think we get a Balloon hit. Oh, not even. Here, it's fine. All right, so let's do that. Let's go for... If the Executioner at the river, how dumb is this? No way this doesn't work, though. Oh, that was a good Ice Spirit. But we got a little bit of chip damage with the uh, <laughs> tornado on the tower. <laughs> Probably not our best bet right here. Did everything just die? How did that? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. There's no way. There's no way that, that the skeleton just died like that. All right. The goblin needs to die. The goblin needs to die. All right. We're dead. We're dead. We're losing. We're losing. It was actually awful. Holy tragic position. Hey. I thought there would be a tornado, but that didn't happen. Ooh, little prince. All right, we're in a minor again. He's gonna rock it. Okay, we're gonna wait. Kill skellies. No. We're trying to cycle a couple balloons, I think. No! Tragic. Well played, well played. So I guess playing against Rocket, Mortar, Balloon, Counters with Tornado. That was a really tough one. Well played. I think that might have been winnable, but that was a very, very tough matchup. Um, all right, so we lost three games so far. Two in a row. One, two. And then we lost one earlier. So we lost three games. Pretty good, pretty, pretty, pretty good. You guys have been playing super well. I think a best of three for Goldman Dime Pass would be good against OJ, Ryan, uh, sorry, OJ, Riley, and Ian. Uh, we would enjoy it. Uh, OJ, Riley, and Ian don't really need a gold or diamond pass. They already have it. Um, also, I'm pretty sure they're all very, very well, like, off with the game, so they don't necessarily need it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, like, the doing diamond pass, gold pass for them probably wouldn't matter as much. Um, it's, like, not giving back to our community either, so I don't really, like doing rewards for them. Um, I don't think that would make that much sense. I do think that just like doing things, doing games against them without Diamond Pass, without that stuff is probably better. And then it is actually more compelling to watch. If you add extra elements that aren't necessarily necessary into those things, like it's not actually as good of content. The Executioner does hit King Tower. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, we take those. Oh, I didn't kick. Oh, see like, I. I'm that person, like, after you lose a game, you're like, next game, next game, one more, one more. You guys feel me on that or not? Nah? Have you ever um, been in a situation where you have to play one more game, you just mentally need that? That's what happened there. I don't know what else to say. That is definitely the case. Our skeletons didn't multiply. We didn't drop them directly on top. That's really bad. Oh, that's horrendous. That is so, so superbly unlucky. 
I should drop the skeleton directly on top, and now we're dead. Oh no. That's such a sad situation. Recruits as well are just like really, 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 really good at um all inning. Taking towers. Uh, if the skeletons multiplied, we were fine, but they got outranged by the recruits, and they actually died when there were only two recruits there, and there were four skeletons. All right, we have to figure out a way if we can win this. That would make me super happy. Out of all the decks, I guess I'm not playing this deck anymore. Um, this is like a good deck, but I'm not playing this against you guys. <laughs> it's too uh, situational from what I see. Or like, maybe I'm too stupid. Who knows? All right, we're sacking the tower there. We're going to go for Executioner on the left. I can't really defend against the, the right-hand side, so there's no point. Go in for this. Use a Tornado. Use an Electric Spirit. All right, we're playing well now. Maybe we can make strides. Okay. Gonna poison. Looking really, really good if we get a good zap down. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so yeah, I guess playing against recruits just really scare me on a spiritual level. Like, playing into someone that drops evil recruits at the river and like things just don't go well. Holy heck, I had to really focus on that. That wasn't easy. That was actually one of the most difficult games I played all day. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. That was, that was a tough one. I, I, was, I was so prepared to lose that game. I was so prepared to lose that game. I thought for sure I was screwed. Um, out of all the games that I played today, I thought that was the most lost one. Uh, like, not having my Evo Skellies multiply set me into a chaotic spiral. Ooh. Ooh, wow, that was, a, that was a scary one. Well played, man. That was a good gameplay decision to go recruits there. Um, it just scared me senseless. All right, let's see if we can grab some other decks. Um, I do think that the, the balloon decks, like, if you're dropping a 5 elixir win condition at the wrong point... You will lose the game. Like, that is a very high skill deck. We're fine. We're fine. Fine. We, we're, we're okay. We also kicked everyone, by the way. We did kick everyone. We're chilling. I don't know who this dude is. <laughs> we're, we're doing well, dude. We're doing well. Merlin. All right, so we're playing against a magician, or I guess, isn't Merlin like a magician name? Anyway, important for us to make sure that we don't do anything stupid in single elixir, because this deck is way better in double. Tag an all goblin deck in ranked. Nah, we've done all goblin decks before in ranked. It's uh, interesting. We're to poison right now, uh, if he drops any bait card, because he's down elixir. If not, then we don't. We just let it go. If you poison, it's bad in this type of situation. Just think about it from this perspective. You can knight on top of the cannon cart, or you could poison on top of that. Okay, we can activate king. Uh, it could have been cleaner, but still got the uh, the thing that we wanted. Merlin's a wizard? A. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you can go bomber in the back, and it full counters the goblin barrel if you drop it fast enough, which is cool. Or like it's able to hit all the goblins. Definitely want a graveyard here. We've got the bomber and the baby dragon. This is a super easy poison value as well. Because it's able to kill um, the bandit I believe. Oh the bandit's like going outside the poison. That is not ideal. What if the tombstone is able to do enough? Oh that was so close. Also, that was a terrible bomber. What am I doing? So I thought like the bandit was gonna dash. So my instinct was like, drop elixir. But when you drop elixir into a bandit that's gonna dash, what happens guys? The bandit dashes on the thing that you dropped and then dashes again. <laughs> so did I just deliberately want to die while spending two elixir? 
The answer is yes. But luckily, that didn't happen. Stop it. Please. Calm down with the aggression, my guy. That is annoying. Wait. We activated King Tower with the Bomber. Uh, oh, no. Or nor. It's still winnable. Somehow that didn't hit my tower. We have to win with Evil Bomber. It's the only way. The only path forward. Also, not having a good answer here probably loses me the game. Oh. I don't know how I'm still alive. Still alive, but I'm barely breathing. <laughs> uh, if I win this, I'd be in, in shock. There's no way, right? I got a hit. Thanks. Stop. Drop and roll. Oh! That's fun. <laughs> GG. So I guess we literally went into a matchup against Logbait without a barbell or a log, and that did not go well after we activated King Tower. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're running it back with the same deck. GG and well played to him. Very, very well played to Merlin. Deserved win for him. Just going to make sure that everyone uh, everyone that beat me, like, make sure you copy that, put it in the uh, Discord channel, and uh, yeah, you'll get your pass or else. I can't procrastinate anymore. Have a good rest of your stream, man. I'll see you later, Ryan. Peace out, buddy. No, he's running recruits again. <laughs> oh, no. How could you? How could you? How could you? How could you, my guy? There's no way. Okay. So, this is one of those situations where I think I am in a bad spot. Okay, though. No. You'll probably click an ability, right? I don't like how that hit my tower. Maybe Evil Bomber. I forgot that Evil Bomber with Graveyard is like a losing play a lot of times. A lot of elixir I spent. Probably not worth it to be to be honest. To be honest. A rat, a rat. Up, sir. All right. So I'm trying to think of a way that we can go for like an aggressive little prince ability, but it just doesn't make sense. We don't have tornado. So if I had tornado with evil bomber, it would make sense. We're definitely dropping the evil bomber on defense here. There's a position where we are predisposed to getting poisoned. How am I going to make this happen? Go here. Oh my gosh. There's an elixir golem. My guy's wilding. I wasn't ready for that. We're fine though, I think. Evo recruits elixir golem is uh, crazy though. <laughs> a lot of elixir. We lose most of the little prince, but it's still fine. We're actually up a considerable amount of elixir. So now I can go for this. I'm really missing Barbarian Barrel in this deck, to be honest. Like, Graveyard tr really is way worse than it used to be because uh, evolutions don't fit very well in the deck. Like, genuinely, like, the uh, the Bomber doesn't fit fen phenomenally in the deck because it re really ruins the defensive sequences that you get. If Baby Dragon got a buff with the evolution, it would be so, so cool. Um, Baby Dragon, like, Barbarrel... Maybe even Tornado or Graveyard itself, right? If any of those cards got buffed, so it would be ridiculous. With the uh, evolutions. Then this Graveyard definitely would be so strong.
Oh my gosh. I lost. I lost! <laughs> Alright. I could have won that one, but I cannot believe. Cannot believe that just happened. Holy heck, man. Elixir Golem. Elixir Golem. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I lost that one. Elixir Golem is a very, very, very annoying strategy, but hey, it happens. All right, so I don't like this deck as much. Uh, ever since the Evo Bomber nerf, I really don't like it as much. Um, it used to be super, 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 super broken. It's still probably pretty good, but I really miss the Barbro. To be honest, if I had no, if I had, if I had the deck a little bit different, I think it would have been better for us. Um, all right, time for us to just run some really good decks so we can win most of the games. <laughs> just to show you guys that we have the capability of playing strong decks and winning. Now, uh, if you guys play Recruiter, uh, any of those things, like they just lose. So that's a pretty big benefit for us. We're just going to play decks that are very, very, very strong in the meta. Also, uh, decks that are capable of beating like all the dirty decks. So I don't get cheesed for like two games. Mental is gonna, Mental's gonna recover. We're not gonna lose two games in a row. You're gonna go broke? I know, I know. We are going broke by playing different decks. Uh, I'm not in the clan. I can't kick people. Yeah, you can't click, kick people. It's fine. It's all good. I think we lost like five or six or seven games today, which is really high for, compared to normal. Can't join the clan? Yeah. We will be trying to do that soon. Um, now let's see how much of a win streak I can go on with uh, some solid deaths. Change clans and uh, read this out loud. Uh, I did read it out loud. I'm not going to change clans though because people have joined the clan. Like people have spent a lot of time joining the clan. And then if I make a new clan and people that have spent their time waiting inside the clan to play against me, it's not really a fair thing, right? Imagine, like, you get into the clan, you're about to play against me, and then you uh, see that I leave the clan. You know, for you, it makes sense because you're not in the clan. But the people that are in the clan, it doesn't make sense. It's not fair, though. All right, um, we're going to go for goblins on top of the archers, and we should be fine. I'm digging a hole outside and listening to you, Sir Tag. I can get uh, it's something I can get behind. Keep going, Jacob. Aw, dude, congrats on, uh, you know, getting in that work. How do I join the Discord? Discord.gg slash SirTag. That's what you do. All right, joining the clan is easy. Getting the match against you is very difficult. Really? Okay. Thanks for playing. Do you have any tips? Um, well, I didn't really... <laughs> I didn't really, like, look too much at the gameplay. Like, you just dropped an Elixir Golem with recruits, and it was hard for me to manage. Um, I should have focused a lot more. I thought I was going to win because I had Bomber. But in reality, I just kind of got overwhelmed. I think I would have won if I focused a bit more. I think you played well. I think doing split lane pressure is what you're supposed to do with Elixir Golem. There isn't that much more that Elixir Golem can do. It's more so like if you split lane pressure at the right points with Elixir Golem, that's kind of like the cap at what you can do with skill level from Elixir Golem. The rest of it is mostly hoping that your opponent messes up and or you force mistakes from your opponent, which you definitely got from me. You forced mistakes from me. You played about as well as you could. It also does definitely make me salty losing to Elixir Golem every time. Uh, I very, very, very rarely lose to it though. Which is, uh, you know... Gee, I, that is surprising that I lost. I'm actually surprised that I lost that game. All right. This matchup is not ideal, but it's winnable. If we just go for wall breakers and then get that on top of the expo and he lets that happen. That's huge. Take a bomber here just to kill the expo, guaranteed. Um, Evo bomber is the best way to win here, but kind of like hard to find the right opportunity to do that. Go for more drills. I think we want to go in for poison, probably because he's fireballing our tower. So we're going to poison archers. Wall breakers are useless here. As I said, Evo Bomber is going to be the best way to win this. So we're going to drop it directly on top of the knight. And this should guarantee enough damage to put us in the winning position. Even if he logs, it's still fine. It's two hits. Yep, two. And then he's going to expo right into the wall breakers. We're going to go for drill because the expo locks onto the drill. He doesn't expo. Playing really passive. That means that he's just going to lose. You can't um, play passive in this situation. You have to go for an expo. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to break through anyway. Just a little bit surprised there. There's the expo. It should lock drill first, so then we can have enough time to go bomb tower. And then probably just get away with a uh, little prince on top of the expo. Then pop the ability. And then be okay. That's it. That's GG. Especially if we can do one of these. I think that was really well played on our end. Holding it in place, then we could uh, guarantee the win with the Evo Bomber. But I sacrificed the goblins to make that happen. 
All right. You got wavy hair. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate, uh, you know, complimenting my hair when we're definitely in a uh, chaotic state of, like, just waking up and deciding to stream. <laughs> you never really know what the hair, the hair is going to look like then. All right. So we won that one. We're going to be playing another game with this one. And we're just going to be hopefully winning five games in a row. My game style right now is going to be really, really hardcore, sweaty, try-hard decks for five games. Five games, guys. We're going to be trying very, very hard. And then we'll screw around a little bit more after. But I just want to, uh, you know, get focused a little bit more. Let's see. Let's see. We lost a lot more than I thought I would <laughs> in those last, like, couple games. I do think that um, the match against the log bait player, I don't think that the deck that I played was optimal. I wish I had Bard Burrow in that one. The Elixir guy, Golem guy, he forced mistakes out of me that I did not think he could have. That was just really, really well played. Honestly, in both the games, they played well. All right. Um, we're going to go for a Firecracker here, and we'll see what we can do. Mega Knight. Ooh, this is not good. I definitely messed that up. I'm definitely down a lot of Elixir, and I don't know if I can defend this effectively. After delivery on top of the Mega Knight after it jumps, then I have to go for Skeletons. Maybe we're going to be able to defend this if we play this perfectly, but really difficult. I don't think I have enough Elixir. I think I lost. I lost. Unless? No, I'm actually dead. Oh, no. Mega Knight and me in the misery. All right. Well, that was not supposed to happen. I guess I overcommitted in single. I thought I was going to be able to defend. I didn't expect him to have Mega Knight. All right. Evo Firecracker here is risky. It should get one shot in the tower. It doesn't. Oh, no. Waste of Elixir. Tragic. Tragic. Oh, my gosh. I thought for sure I'd be able to get a hit. I'm dead. I don't win this anymore. I mean, maybe I would never have, but this is really, really bad. All right. Doing it for the fam. We need to find damage here. Just got Earthquake it. If he catches this, I'm actually just toasted. Oh no, dude. Bandit's also not going to go on it. <laughs> oh, no. Every interaction that could have went wrong went wrong there. At least the Canyon one-shots that stuff. He will Mega Knight. I think I get one hit on the tower. Nothing? Oh, my gosh. Hog Rider gets zero hits into... I didn't know that. I actually didn't know. Cannoneer full counters a Hog Rider with a Mega Knight. That is actually insane. There's no way. There's no way that jumps towards my tower. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we lose. He's just going to click the ability, right? He's apps. This guy played so well. He played so well. He also knew interactions that I didn't know. Eh? Well played. I did not expect that at all. Wow. We're going broke today, boys. <laughs> uh, well played. I tried really hard in this game, and I got outplayed. This is a deserved loss, and also just really, really, really well played by our opponent. I can't even say anything besides that. So he punished me when I overcommitted. And also, I didn't know that interaction that Mega Knight was able to full counter a Hog Rider. Usually, it's always one hit. Huh. Well, well played. How many games did we lose so far? One, two, three, four, five. All right, we lost five games. Six. We lost six games. Okay, so it wasn't as many as I thought. Out of how many games have we been playing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So out of 25 games, oh, sorry, not 25. Minus, uh, say like four games. So 21 games, we've lost six. So not bad, not great. It's, you know, it is what it is. Let's keep going. Let's go, let's go. Join this clan is impossible. Uh, can you 1v1, please? How hard do you rate the Hog Rider deck? Uh, the Hog Rider deck that we played? Pretty difficult to play. Like you can make a lot of mistakes and bad matchups and still win. Um, where your opponent just can't kill the firecracker, but if they can kill the firecracker, it's tough. It's tough. Yo, Murabito says, I'll pay for this one, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> Dude, I I uh you do not need to donate to cover for my losses. Part of the thing is I want to like feel like uh, you know, I it's good. It's good that way. But yeah. Thank you so much, man. I use the sponsorship money that I get from like uh, the NordVPN thing that you saw when I up, 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 uploaded that, that 
kind of covers for all this. Don't worry. Every single time, I make sure I have a sponsorship uh, for no matter how many games I lose, we're gonna be okay. Well, we should be okay. <laughs> That's a uh, if I lose ten, then we you know then it starts to get like oh wow what the heck. But yeah, huge thank you, uh, Murdito. That money will go into covering the pastor house. I appreciate that. Um, you played like a nub? No, the guy just played better than me. Like literally, the Mega Knight player just played better than me. Like a lot better than me. And I was impressed by his gameplay. I can't sugarcoat that. But thank you so much, Murabito. Guys, get some hearts in the chat for Murabito in the 20 bucks. <laughs> He's like, LMAO. <laughs> Dude, it's honest, right? Like, he played better than me. I can't even say anything other than that. You're the homie. We will kick people after, don't worry. You guys don't have to spam that anymore. Um, Tag out the wavy here. All right, all right. I like that. Candice Wang says, hi. Hello. How are you doing? Hopefully this day is treating you beautifully. We're going to go in for a Tesla here. Why are you using Cannoneer? Ah, uh, it's better. Cannoneer is just a better card with Cycle Decks. Because if you're using a Cycle Deck, you have the ability to outmaneuver your opponent. And the uh, Cannoneer just does so much damage that it can kill win conditions that it shouldn't be able to. So for instance, our opponent in the last game used Cannoneer with a Mega Knight and it countered my Hog Rider. That is an interaction where the Hog Rider always gets a reg like against a regular Princess Tower, always gets a hit. Every game, my Hog Rider will get a hit into a Mega Knight. But in that situation, the Mega Knight gets zero damage. Like, we get zero damage into the Mega Knight. So it's really, really tough. Also, I need to focus. I can't lose this game. I do want to focus a lot more on this one. Lost a few more than we needed to. Let's, uh, let's uh, motivate ourselves. I feel like if you, if you cover for me with the donations... Um, and you're like, yo, do it. Then I, then I have no obligation to focus, right? Like, I gotta focus. I gotta earn these games. All right. Did I just tell you guys not to donate to me? <laughs> Imagine a streamer that says that. All right. Um, all right. We're gonna go night here, and we should be able to firecracker. Let's do it. One more. One more. One more. One more, one more for the one time. Yeah, boy. Hog Rider at this exact moment because he's going to go all in and he can't do it. Hilarious that he did it. Let's go. We got him. We got him, boys. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hopefully. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it was all for not. Oh, my gosh. That was two hits. That was crazy. Firecracker. You cracked. You cracked. You're out of your mind, Firecracker. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. You're so overpowered, Firecracker. I love you. Okay. We have to defend this and play well. I forget how bad Canyon is into this. Like, I often forget how terrible Kennedyer is in there. Like, he's so bad in the graveyard. Please. Oh, we win! Let's go! That was a tough one. That was a really tough one, guys. That, that guy played well. He made me, like, really focus in the end. GG. Wow, Oreo, you're trying to eat me, my guy. Oh. Alright, yeah, that was, that was a scary game. It was a scary game. GG and well played. Alright. Very, very good player. So... Sorry, Oreo, but you must get kicked. This guy already left, as you can see. I can't kick him. Uh, this guy left as well. Destructor Man also left. And then I'll look one more. Merlin also left as well. So, yeah. We've pretty much kicked everyone or removed everyone. So you guys have more opportunities to join the clan. All right, so I did say we're just going to kind of play uh, some try-hard decks, but maybe maybe we can be a little bit stupid. A little bit stupid and silly and grab some other new decks that I haven't played before. I've not played this giant graveyard deck ever really on anything, so we'll see. See how it goes. Come on. Good kicking there. You guys are so proud. <laughs> Broken Katana says, read my name. I got you. All right, um, what's the clan name? The clan name is Can You Beat Me? That is the clan name. 
So I'm hoping that we're able to cycle some evolved zaps as fast as possible, idealistically. Just reset everything and then go in for bats again so we can get the evolutions. Yeah, evolutions. We don't want to cycle bowler. Rather just let this go. I'd rather just like chill, calm down, and take the one hit that he's gonna get. It doesn't really matter. Um, important to not overcommit in these type of situations. And if you find the right opportunity to go for giant graveyard because you're up a lot of elixir, it's just generally better that way. No goblins in cycles, so how is he gonna defend against this? The answer is I don't know if he can. Oh. Forgot that that was a play. It's one of those moments where we just all in him. We're in it to win it, my dudes. We're in it to win it. That one bat is going to enable us to guarantee that we don't get three crowned. We don't need to zap because I'm pretty confident that Little Prince kill kills all of those minions anyway. Honestly, I don't know who's in a better situation. Giant Graveyard or his deck. We don't have any evolutions right now. I have Unfortunate. He might just RG. I don't have any d high damage per second. So that's uh, the, the difficulty here. If he RGs... Pretty bad because it'd be right into a bowler. Be funny though. King over here. Maybe we go Night Witch into that. Hard to say. These bats seem really, really bad. Oh, never mind. They're phenomenal for us. Great. Oh, I need to pop the ability. Otherwise, we get three crowns. Wait, I just got. Wait, why does he have Mini Pekka with RG? Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's calculated, it's calculated, it's calculated. We're fine. We're not tilted. You're tilted. I have no answer to the RG in my entire deck. Okay. Fine. Do this. The Prince, pop the ability. Oh, if that didn't get a hit, I think I would have won. I don't think you would have been able to win then. That's insane. Oh, I'm so... I, I'm actually mystified by the fact that he had mini pack with, like, that. I've never seen that in my life. Mini pack of RG. Oh, no. We had nothing for the RG in our deck. Uh, <laughs> and I had nothing for the mini pack because my bats just got raged. All right. It happens. It happens. GG. That was an interesting deck. Definitely a devious deck, my dude. You guys are making me want to play Goblin Drill. I'm so scared. I'm so scared of what I'm playing against now. I'm like, can I counter your deck? Can I beat it? Or do I not have things? I did not have anything in my deck to beat that. There's nothing I could do. On defense, at least. If that RG didn't get the last hit, though, I think that you would have lost the Evo Bats there, though. So, it was interesting. Three crowns? Yeah, there wasn't anything I could do. I couldn't stop the... Uh, I couldn't stop it. The Royal Giant raged up with the Mini Pekka. There was nothing I could do. He just spelled away my stuff. Unfortunate. Sometimes that does happen. There's, I guess, good deck construction in the matchup. All right. Dapping wouldn't do anything because everything gets one shot anyway and doesn't change any of the interactions. But like if you zap on top of the wall breakers, the zap doesn't kill the wall breakers and your cannon your one shots the wall breakers. doesn't really change anything. It's important to realize that and not like overcommit. Okay, so the Rascal dies in one shot. He's going to have Wall Breakers and Goblin Barrel. So in this type of situation, it's probably better to cycle a Giant in the back with a Night Witch and build up a big push and try to make something happen here. I do. I say it's pretty unlikely that they try to do something insane, but who knows? Um, we'll do this. We'll go Night Witch. I didn't want to lose my entire tower. Pop the ability. Probably worth we have a lot of stuff coming at him. We can go for a zap, kill the Dark Goblin. Barbarians aren't necessarily going to die here, but still okay. Like, I can cycle a Bowler in the back and make something happen into a Goblin Barrel. The Bowler counters the Goblin Barrel really effectively. Ooh, interesting arrows. Barbarians are a problem. But the Barbs are out of cycle, and we can Giant in Graveyard and take Tower. Go Bats here. Giant Graveyard on the other side. Try to all in and snag a Tower. These are perfect arrows. Very cool. Zap guarantees the kill, but I don't know if that was necessary. Backing that is probably a completely necessary play. Because I defend against those. 
Little Prince in the back is good. They might Princess. They do. We Night Witch. Actually, we're in a Bowler instead. Bowler probably is better because we do one of these. Oh, this is beautiful. Yep, the Bowler kills the Barbarians. The Evo Zap comes through. We go for our Evo uh, that. There's a lot of Elixir coming at him. Run it back with another Graveyard. Form it with the Zap. Could do a ton of damage. Definitely want a Bowler directly in the face so then they can't go for anything like a Princess. Arrows were really smart, but it didn't kill the Bats. Okay. I think we Giant Graveyard again. Probably in a little bit. Like with the Night Witch first. Really good Rascals. Making sure that the Girl Rascal is still alive. That's insane. That was extremely well played. Wow, these guys are good. Like, no one's... Like, th that mechanics was... those. That was pretty impressive. I just want the Giant to get hits. That's not going to happen. I could have propped the Little Prince ability, but I don't think that's worth expecting Princess. Didn't happen. The evil bats here. Arrows. Caparino. Kill the Princess. Graveyard. Bowler. Bats again. I'm just hoping that the Bowler hits the Tower to DH. To be honest. I think that does do almost enough damage, but not quite enough. You're totally expecting that, so I'm gonna fully focus on defending. Graveyard here, giant again, and that wins us the game. GG. Like nothing that they can do in that specific situation against the giant graveyard. Cool. <laughs> Barbarians make that so much harder sometimes. GG. I was Oreo as you played against. GG, man. It was a fun game. You guys are making me sweat out here. For real, for real. Very good games. Very, very good games. All y'all just got to make sure that you uh, send like, you know, hey, I beat you and send that into the uh, thing. We're going to be giving away so many pass rounds. I, I'm actually astonished how many games we lost. <laughs> We're still going though. We're still going. It's cool though. Hey, Josh, you made it. <laughs> Babe, wake up. Sir Tag is live streaming. Also, if you guys want more of a chance to play against me in the future and you guys enjoy beating up on me, please make sure to drop a like on this video. If you do, I'll do it more often in the future. We'll have more live streams and I have more opportunities for you to uh, get past Ral. So if you're subscribed to the channel and you like the video, you guys stay connected and be a part of these live streams in the future. Even if you're not watching this live, maybe you're watching this as a video afterward. And uh, yeah, the best way of doing it. All right, so I'm not going to pop the ability. I think that's useless. And I activate King Tower with a Mega Knight by sacrificing Wall Breaker. I think so. I don't know. I, I don't know. Ah, oh, I was hoping that would work. I've never tried that before. That's a first time, and there's a first time for failure. There's a first time for everything. Also, activating King Tower against the uh, Firecracker using the Cannoneer is something that a lot of people don't necessarily know. Uh, when Because the Cannoneer fires... Fast enough to one-shot the Firecracker, so it's harder to activate King Tower. A lot of my friends mess that up. A lot of the best players in the world actually still mess that up. If you can hit that correctly, you should be proud. You should be proud. Alright. Advice on fast cycle Cannoneer decks with buildings using a beatdown deck. Oh, so if you've been playing it, so playing against the fast cycle decks when you're using the beatdown deck, I can play a beatdown deck and I can show you guys. All right, all right. Let's keep going. What are we doing? All right, we can go for a poison as well on top of the firecracker. Uh, and then we can also go for a drill. How's your mental health going? It's going really, 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 really well. Um, I'm actually one of the few people, I think, in Clash Royale that isn't burnt out with the game. I would say, like, uh, most of the streamers, most of the YouTubers don't necessarily love 
it as much as they used to. Um, as you can see, like a lot of people like have kind of quit the game or like done different things. For me, I really enjoy playing the game and I, I'm thankful for what I have and like just able to do it every single day. A lot of people aren't able to. A lot of people just like um, don't want to force themselves to do things they don't enjoy or like they kind of are uploading way less frequently if you like look at their channels. Um, it's just kind of how it is, which is cool. You know, I'm glad that I am not in that situation. I'm um, very, very lucky. Dobbin Drew is, is, is going to guarantee wins. Uh, I don't think guarantee is the word, but it's going to definitely give us a higher likelihood. Our poison here, and we're just going to use our bomber, and then I think we're fine. Should be able to spam more drills, and then uh, since we have the little pits on the field, we can get back to another drill faster, so this drill should be able to put our opponent in a very bad spot. The firecracker gets one hit, so like it just doesn't matter. It's one shot, yeah. Poison. We can go in for Evil Bomber on the goblins. I think that would have gotten a hit. I bet you he Mega Knights. Let's make a prediction in Evil Bomber. Yep. Very cool. That's two hits and we win. Hey! Making plays like that pop off. Hey, hey. That's sick, Jake. Uh, glad to hear that, man. Been watching you for years and always love your vibes. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, I would never force myself to do things I don't enjoy. So, nice to do things I enjoy every day. Uh, let's play this Golem deck one more time. Figure it out. 500 IQ prediction. Ah, that was pretty good. Like those. All right, let's try to make more predictions these games. Wait, I can't really make predictions with this. Uh, does the bomber hit both sides? I hope so. I think it does. I think it hits the other one. No. Please. Bomber. Really? Okay. Bomber disappointed me. Also, um, I should have probably Elixir Collector in the back because I don't know if he's going to end up having a different version of the deck than I was anticipating priorly or previously. Uh, okay. Let's just do Skeleton King here. Pulls back the Knight. Then we can go Baby Dragon. I just want to go and cycle to more Elixir Collectors, ideally. So let's go in for a Zap on top of his Elixir Collector. Uh, if he drops something in front, it'll be funny to like, Evil Bomber hit his tower and then also hit the Elixir Collector. I don't think he would do that for us. Uh, alright. We could Night Witch in the back to build up to a lot of bats. And also Night Witch directly on top. We could also Evil Bomber. I think the best play is to objectively, like, Night Witch, Evil Bomber after, and then possibly doing something else if we need to, but I don't think... Ah, oh, Evil Bomber died. Evil Bomber died, died in a blast. Oh, jeez. All right, so that combustion was not something we wanted. I'm going to go in for the Wisher Collector in the back just to cycle, and then so when, if you're playing against someone with a building, like, let's just, just hypothetically say this guy had a building, and he's running a fast cycle back. You want to get an Elixir Advantage with your Elixir Collectors before you go in for your Golem, and then you would like to either do Split Lane Pressure with a Skeleton King in one side, with the Night Witch and Golem in the other side, and then the Skeleton King is able to, like, heal a whole army for yourself. It's pretty important to be able to do that if you can. Could have zapped there, so it would have allowed me to get the evolution, but it's fine. I want to make sure that I have a, an Elixir Advantage going here. And a Baby Dragon as well. We're not going to pop the ability since we don't have that much with it. I'm going to zap on the Elixir Collectors because they're all together, so... Now I get, I get a positive Elixir trade from that. Um, and then the Baby Dragon locks. Pretty important. So I'll be able to Firecracker counter with a Tornado. So the Firecracker doesn't shimmy herself too far off to the side. And this probably wins us the game. Uh, I think that uh, Mirror Firecracker is pretty bad. Evo Firecracker is a lot better. So you don't really want to be mirroring up your Firecracker. You'd rather be cycling like Skeletons, Ice Spirit. You know, getting back to an Evolve Firecracker. It's just infinitely better than spending four Elixir to mirror one up. And you could cycle, you know... Three one cost cards, and then uh, or two one cost cards and a uh, double uh, two cost card, and you're fine. There's a lot of different things you can do from that perspective. We're just gonna let that all die, I think, and then tornado, then Evo zap. Oops. That was pretty okay. It wasn't bad. It could have been better though. Um, another thing is this firecracker. He should be yeah. I was gonna say supporting it. Finally does. Anyway, I didn't really focus too much in the end of this one because I knew that it was a definite W. Um, but yeah, uh, essentially, I do think that playing against fast cycle decks with this is really good. That's because you're always able to defend minimalistically with like Zap or Tornado, Bomber as well. Like, pretty good deck. I'm not great at Clash. I want to get better. Any tips tag? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to just get better, you have to have the mentality of, like, you're going to fail and you're going to get better eventually. That's just how it is, my guy. You aren't going to always play perfect. You're not always going to win every game. Um, it is what it is. That's, uh, the mentality that we have. All right, we're going to kick Kraken. Uh, we do not have SK in the tournament. 
or in the uh, in the games. And then Predator is also gone. So we end up having pretty much everyone outside of the clan so far. So there's a lot more opportunities for you guys to join and play against me. Still at the same time, it's hard. There's not that many spots. So don't expect to always like get in. Mm -hmm. WD. Deck. Recon is probably Lava Hound. LCF is probably some weird deck. Everyone's running um, Goblin Drill right now just because it is so strong. Oh, Minor Poison! I haven't played that in forever. I haven't played a real Minor Poison deck in so freaking long. All right. I think it's time. I think it's time to play Minor Poison. This is Muhammad Light's deck, by the way. Golem is such a villain vibe. I know. Oh, villain smile. I thought you said villain vibe. I was like, well, I can get behind the villain vibe. I just can't get behind the villain smile. Watch. Because I, I really don't, I don't know. Does it, does it smile? Does the golem smile? I guess in the card it does. Are you playing on PC or mobile? Uh, I am playing on a tablet. I am not playing on PC. All right, so we're gonna go for a little in the back and we'll see what happens. Rich Pim is about to be insane with the new Evo. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. In the picture, it smiles. Oh, it does? Dang. Oh, yeah. It's like a green smile or a purple smile, right? Oozing purple. All right. We'll have poison here. Hmm. All right. All right. Maybe we can do something as well. I'm not sure. Uh, is it the up bottle? No, it's definitely not the air up bottle. Um, I saw a lot of like bad reviews on that. I don't think I would ever take, so I don't take sponsors from things that I don't use personally if they're paid products. If it's a paid product and I don't like the paid, the paid product and I wouldn't pay for it personally and I wouldn't use it myself, I would never, 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 never recommend it to you guys. So the air up bottle, um, I don't think I'll ever get sponsored by them because from what I saw, like I would actually literally, I would make them send it to me. I'd make, uh, I'd be like, hey, I need to test it out first and see if I like it. And then if I liked it, then I would do it. I would get, fulfill the sponsorship. But that being said, uh, there are a lot of reviews on it, like legitimate reviews saying it was terrible. So I doubt that I would actually like it unless, you know, there were some drastic changes in the last like six months to the, uh, to the product. Yeah, you guys can trust like if it's a sponsored paid product, I actually like it. There's no guarantee that you guys would like it, but I will never, 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 never um, have a paid product on the channel that I don't use personally. And I think that that's disingenuous. Um, for free mobile games where you guys can make the decision whether to play them or not, uh, sometimes I will take sponsorships from games that I don't like play all the time. Um, but yeah, that's more of a different situation where if it's a paid product, I feel like it's really scammy. If you're paying, if you're advertising something that viewers will like pay for something that's bad and not necessarily something that they would want. Like, I think that's like super, super scummy. I, the, yeah, there's a difference between doing that and then, um, oh man, is it a good spot or a bad spot? I need a Selector Dragon to die. It dies to poison. I think we're okay. Good Tesla. We're good. But yeah. I think there's a difference between like advertising a uh, free to play mobile game than a paid product. Paid product. Like, and then the mobile game, like whatever, like you waste your time if you don't like it. Paid product, you're like wasting your life and you're wasting a lot more than your time because you're wasting your money. And that's different. No one has a good experience when that happens. Wait, we can. Oh, we have the Little Prince Lock. Up the ability. Drop the Tesla right quick, right quick. Poison. Can we like not die to this? Oh. Oh. Please. This is the most annoying deck in the game. I really don't want to lose to it. <sighs> oh my goodness. We're going to try so hard not to lose this game. But I think I'm going to lose. I really don't want to lose to this deck. Please, Clash Shroud, let me win. 
Please, Clash Trial, let me win. Alright. I do think that we might lose, but I don't know. I mean, if Eva bombers, that's how he wins. He's not even bombering though. I think of this. He needs to even bomber me. Yeah, he didn't even bomber to plus tornado. We're fine. Oh, I was so scared. I hate that deck. Oh, that was the scariest thing in my existence. I lost the elixir gold. I thought I was going to lose the battle healer. I really thought I lost. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, 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 guys. Guys, 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 guys. I swear I'm not a bad person. I swear I'm not a bad person. I swear I would never play evil battle healer. <laughs> evil barbarians. Oh no. I can't believe I just did it. I, I'm a... Awful, awful human being. It had to be done, though. It had to be done. We are cooking today. What is this? I, I, I had to do it. I had to do it. We are hellbound on toxicity today. Evil tag? I know. I'm a sinister sir. What can I say? What can I say? Is it a good idea to uh, be saying what the opponent needs to do to beat you when they could be listening on the stream? Probably not, but... You know, I, I I authentically tell you guys what I feel in the moment at all points in time. I really don't want to censor what I'm thinking based off of potentially giving my opponent an advantage. Like, it's okay. At worst case scenario, we give them pastoral, but like, I just I I don't want to compromise the quality of the stream for that. Um, will you start merch? I definitely will. But again, the merch has to be really high quality. I have to figure out a design that I actually like instead of just trying to market something to make money. Uh, it actually has to be something that's good. It's a paid product, so I take a lot of uh, care and consideration for those things. At least uh, that's the way I view things. That's how I that's how I look at it. Dude, we didn't even get to use the battle here. All right, well, release the demons or the angel, I guess. I think it's an angel, maybe. Any plans on getting married, dude? I don't even have a girlfriend right now. <laughs> yeah. Marriage plans are definitely not in there. That is like very far away. Also, you don't get to know someone for a while. So I think marriage, uh, you guys ask me this a lot, but I answer it every stream. Um, I don't know why, but yeah, I think like getting married, uh, married to someone is like a dangerous game. If you don't really know the person very well, um, at least for me, I don't really want to, unless I really know the person well, which will take a lot of time. And if you're not in a relationship then getting into a relationship and then knowing the person, that takes a long, long time. A lot of people increasingly are getting uh, or less people are getting married uh, as time goes on. Um, yeah. It's one of those things. Does he read the chat? Yes, sir. Also, one of the funnier things in life in general is uh, people increasingly are less and less dependent on others. Because um, like, you know, in hunter-gather society, everyone needed each other to function, right? Like people needed each other to have very specific roles. But for modern times, a lot of people don't even need someone. Like they can kind of just function uh, without relationships, which is, you know, not everyone can, but a lot of people can. And a lot of people, like I was talking to my dad and um, he's like, yeah, one of my best friends is like not married, not doing anything, loving life. And he's 50 and he's just chilling and he's having a good time. And I was like, wow, uh, that's wild to think that there's like uh, people that, you know, it was eye opening when I, when I had that discussion with him. He's like, yeah, dude, my, my best friend is like, not married, not doing anything, just loving life and uh, traveling around the world. And um, yeah, just uh, I, I think like one of the things that uh, is abundantly clear as you get into more relationships or whatever um, is being in a really good relationship, at least for me, it's like really up here. Being in a bad relationship is like down here and then being, by your, being with yourself or uh, by yourself is like in the middle. 
But like, you never want to be in a bad relationship. That's like the worst thing. Literally the worst thing that you could do. But um, that's the for me at least. It's worth it to try to be in relationships because the potential benefit is up here, right? But not for everyone. Every, people are built different. Like that guy, uh, my dad's friend, super super happy. All right. Anyway, um, you don't believe in marriage? No, I don't know if I want to. That depends on the person. Depends on the situation. It definitely depends on that stuff. He doesn't read chat 100%. It's not his fault. The game sucks. Wait, what do you mean? I'm so confused. I read chat. I just, I, I did an entire conversation based off of that one, that one viewpoint. I'm so confused. Uh, my guy's uh, here listening without volume. That is uh, an interesting experience. Oh, no. Really? There's no, there's no, oh, come on. Come on. Give me the firecracker. He didn't give me the firecracker. Wait, this is not going well. We don't have answers to firecracker in our tech. This is not going very well, my guy. This is not going very well. Please. The one time. Yeah! Screw the firecracker! No, it's still alive! I hate my life. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> you hate to see it. You hate to see it. <laughs> Am I a degenerate? Yes. Did it work? The answer is yes. Are we dying to a firecracker? Y'all already know. <laughs> Stop. Stop. The pain. It is too much. Oh my gosh, please. Alright, we're fine. Maybe. To find this gentleman on the account of using an incorrigible card. He's not even a gentle man. He's a very violent man. He's a violent, vile individual. Please. The one time. I'm so dead. There's nothing I can do here. Well... This was painful. This was actually so painful. It's like he got the exact deck correct. It's like he knew what we were going to do. <laughs> and he built something to cure our toxicity. You can't even be mad like losing this match if you're just like, well, maybe I shouldn't have played this deck. Maybe I shouldn't have been a, a bane of existence to society. Wait. 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 There's a chance. Telling you, there's actually a chance. Not a high chance, but there's a chance. Guess we can do the dance. Can we just. How did we not hit the firecracker? Does anyone know how that didn't hit the firecracker? Does anyone understand how the evil bomber hit the did not hit the firecracker? I do not understand. That was not ideal. That did not feel good. That really, really messed with my mental. <laughs> Okay, that was an impossible matchup. The Earthquake killed our Elixir Collector, so we weren't able to get Elixir Advantage. The Royal Delivery Firecracker killed all of our air cards. And it wasn't possible for us to get on top of things to be able to use the freaking Battle Healer to heal things up. We're running it back! We're running it back, okay? <laughs> We're running it back. I don't care. I want to use the Battle Healer for the greater good to show you guys how toxic it can be. Can you read the comments more, please? I try to. I mean, I'm not going to read comments more than I am because I read as much as I can. Um, love you, Sir Tag. You're one of the best YouTubers out there. Thank you, brother. All right. Um, the one time you use this toxic deck, someone has another toxic counter deck. I know, right? I haven't been able to show like the true power, the true power of our strategy. Oh, think you're the best YouTuber. Thank you, man. Bro's getting clapped? Yeah, we did get clapped in that last game. Can't fib. Can't lie. That's just how it went. Alright. Sadly, I gotta sleep now, but I wish you the best rest of your stream. Thank you, man. I hope I have an amazing stream, too, and I hope you have an even better sleep. Don't you think that you countered uh, that deck? It's just a scheduled loss? 
Uh, I, I, I guess I got countered. I guess there wasn't much I could do. But, you know, you still got to try. See if you can make it happen. Sometimes, if they have Earthquake, they can't kill your anti-air cards. Like, they can't kill your Skeleton Dragons or Electro Dragons. Or maybe they'll mess up. You can get a big Battle Healer push rolling. And somehow, you can break through a Royal Delivery and Tornado a Firecracker into you. And you can just win a whimsical, like, all-in push. But generally doesn't happen. You're generally right. That, that, that matchup is really, really tough and horrible. But it's worth trying because, you know, there's money on the line. And we're trying our hardest out here in every single game we play. At least that's the strategy today. All right, so we're not even trying to get damage with that. We're just trying to kill his units. So then we can make a big offensive play. Better for us to go for Barbarians in the other side because it's going to force out extra Elixir there. And then the Bomber's going to hit the tower. And notice how much value we get. It's better for me to go for Skeleton Dragons because if I Tornado on the Skeletons, it doesn't really matter. It just heals up our uh, Electro Dragon. It heals up our Bomber. It heals up the rest of our stuff. So as you can see, this is why this deck is good. The sustainability that you get with Battle Healer enables you to have everlasting offense. That's why this deck is really toxic. Um, yeah. You build up a push with an Electro Dragon and a Battle Healer behind a Golem and your up Elixir, and there's not much your opponent can do to stop you. Any tips on how not to rage? Uh, if you are raging or getting really upset at the game, you got to make sure that you're taking a break mentally and ensuring that you don't necessarily put too much pressure on yourself. It's a game after all. It's not supposed to be something that is life dependent. You don't, you don't want to look at your life and be like, if I lose a game, it's going to ruin my day. For me, it takes a lot to ruin my day. It takes so much to make my day something that I'm like, wow, this was a terrible day that's irrecoverable. Like there has to be something that, uh, you know, like a medical thing or something with family related. And then even then, like my full individual effort is going to be like, I'm making sure that my family or friends or myself, like whatever is happening is going to be better. Then I'm not really caring about other things in life. I'm just focusing on that. Um, yeah, it's just like a, once you understand what's really important, it's hard to have your day ruined by a video game. Uh, and if you're raging, sometimes you need to just take a little bit of time to disconnect from that moment and really realize and understand. Because it's super easy to get emotional and have bad decisions. This is with video games. This is with like personal experiences. This is with almost everything. It's so easy to say things or feel things that you don't necessarily actually mean deep down, right? Like if you guys disconnect from a video game and then one of your friends is telling you like, hey, like you're getting mad at some pixels on a screen, you're probably going to be like, yeah, that's right. That's 100% right. But you're like, you're not thinking that in the moment because you're like, damn, I hate losing this stupid firecracker. How is this thing still alive? So you, you adjust expectations to expect to lose once in a while. And when bad things happen in the game, like maybe the firecracker is just like somehow just, I don't know, gets a hit on the tower that it shouldn't. Like across the river, feels really annoying. You're just like, screw it. Uh, just realize like that's not going to impact the health of your family. It's not going to impact like, you know, your prospects in your career. It's not going to change anything from that perspective. So um, it's not something worth being frustrated about. Uh, like where you devote your energy, that matters a lot in life. Um, and that's like an important life skill to have really assigning like this matters this doesn't and being able to be mature enough to know that um and that's easier said than done um that's also something that i struggled with for a long long time so hey man um <laughs> when i was 18 years old and i screwed that up so many more times than i can count i can't tell you and also i'll get frustrated too like sometimes i'll get triggered and i'll, I'll even be triggered on stream uh, i if, if you guys want to rewatch the the pin comment there's some moments where the live streams were really, really long and I was losing to people who were significantly worse than me in the game um, because like I was playing against over-leveled opponents with level 11 cards. I was losing to, like level 15 Mega Knight. I'm like, this guy just doesn't even know what he's doing. He can't even tie his shoes and I'm losing. Like, what the heck? Like, what is this? I was like frustrated, obviously, right? But you, you have to remind yourself like at the end of the day, it's just, that's, that's it's just the game, right? It didn't matter that much. If you're frustrated by those things, sure, things are unfair, but it happens. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's a, I think that's a cool thing to have. Alright, let's see if we can three crown this guy real quick, real quick for the one time. You guys ready? Oh no. I didn't want to cycle our Evo Skellies, but I probably should have. Wait, am I stupid? I'm actually stupid. I'm actually into it. I wanted to three crown so bad. Why did I do that to myself? I, I should have just cycled the Evo Skellies and I lost. I lost because I didn't cycle the Evo Skellies. I'm so stupid. I'm actually so dumb. Oh my gosh. I should have cycled the Evo Skellies on the Bandit, but I wanted Evo Skellies on the 3 crown and win. 
the the duality of being a YouTuber, looking for the highlight clips and then losing because of it. <laughs> Did you guys not hear me say I want to cycle the? Yeah, that's not. I ate an entire bandit. I thought the bandit was going to die, and it just didn't die. Jake, you're yapping instead of just answering one comment? Yeah. Happens. I was yapping on the entire instance. It's like, you know, when people say yes or no, like, this is a yes or no question. A lot of times, yes or no things are dangerous games. Like, uh, you could ask a question, like, um, when did you stop? Or, all right, sorry. Like, let's say this. Um... Ooh, when did you stop being an Elixir Golem player? Or, sorry. Did you stop being an Elixir Golem player? And let's assume Elixir Golem is like a really tragic offense, right? If you say no, and you say no, I didn't stop being an Elixir Golem player, then you're still an Elixir Golem player. If you say yes, then you are saying that somewhere in your past, you were an Elixir Golem player and you stopped it. So the question already assumes something. If you, if you guys understand what I'm saying, like, did you stop being an Elixir Golem player if there's only yes or no and there's no elaboration? You could say, no, I was never an Elixir Golem player, but you can't because it's a yes or no. So, like, it's a dangerous game like saying yes or no. So that's why I elaborate on a lot of these questions. I don't give like short answers like yes or no, because if you yes or no, then, you know, like it could be misinterpreted. Uh, so just answering the question or just saying yes or no is not like something that ever should be, a con it should never be a thing. Never be a thing. Yes or no questions. Uh, like a lot of those uh, are loaded questions at times and are dangerous to answer. That type of stuff. But yeah. Um, uh, I wonder how far he is like reading. He has some hell lag on our end. Oh yeah, I'm just reading like whatever uh, I see. Uh, I can go down right now. Amazing take as always, daddy. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Um, GG, uh, no way. I got so nervous and won by 60 HP. Dude, I don't know how I got you to 60 HP at the end. I know how I got very low. I ate an entire bandit because I'm an idiot. I don't understand why. I, well, I know why I did that, but I, I like don't even pass rails, obviously. <laughs> I'm sure you can tell like I'm actually trying in that game, but I'm also like stupid because I really wanted with the skeleton. Whatever. Uh, clan full? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, clan is going to be full because people are going to join immediately, so... You have to uh, be on top of it. All right, we'll focus in these games. If we go drill right now, and we just poison on the goblins, that's probably our best bet. And then we can cycle a fire spirit at the river when the goblins are dead. Force out more elixir that way. We can log on top of the goblin barrel, and that's a really good trade. He should be logging on our skeletons, but he didn't do that. Three for three with a cannon into the, the ghost is great. Now we drill right again, and then we go for Bomber at the river. Just a hard card for him to counter, because guess what? We're cycling to the evolution a lot faster that way. And then the Bomber splashes onto his goblins, and it's just a really good position for us to be in. So we're always keeping up with this card cycle. We're cycling a log here, and then we're to get our split skeletons, so then his uh, ability doesn't give him as much value. And then we can go for an evil Bomber here, just in case our skeletons somehow die, which they weren't going to, but if they did, we just want to get through them. Jake have been playing for at least five to seven years, if not more. Yeah. Bro, I ate an entire bandit because why not? Dude, I ate a bandit like a stack. Because I wanted our opponent to steal the game. I wanted our opponent to steal the game. I didn't want to win. Oh, wait. Wait. Uh, okay. Um, are you giving away this season's pass or next season? Uh, the pass can be used on any season that you want. Every time I comment, start focusing. Yes, sir. Uh, I guess it's like that sometimes. Sometimes we do be focusing. What's your favorite card? Uh, I love Goblin Drills because it's a unique card. My favorite card right now is going to be Magic Archer. It's always been my favorite card. That's never changed. However, I think that my favorite card to play is the Evolved Mortar just because it is unique. Throwing goblins at your tower, it's like, it's been my main thing to play recently. It's a very, very fun, strong card. All right. Also, guys, I'm not going to respond to the kicking thing anymore. I will be kicking people after every one or two games. So if you're just watching, you'll notice that. But I'm not going to respond to that anymore. Um, Evil Battle Room thoughts. It's pretty overpowered. Hopefully they decide to nerf it. But, you know, it is Clash Royale. You never really know. Maybe they'll milk a lot of money from it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, the funny thing about it is it's like there's a stark 
dichotomy. It's either way too overpowered or way too bad. And then there's no in the middle. The evolutions are always like that. Kind of funny how uh, cards are extremely overpowered or not like good. They're never balanced. At least at the start. You make me so happy. Hey, thanks, dude. For making me happy by saying that. The cycle of happiness. As we cycle some royal giants on this guy. All right, never mind. We're going to RG in the left. He probably doesn't quit the ability. Killing the cannon is nice. All right, this is well worth it. That's like three shots, two shots, two. That's two. Worth. That's so worth. That might be three. Three piece. That's insane. All right, so I'm trying to think of what else we can do. If we go guards, that would be decent. We go for Royal Giant and Guards, that might be better. The Guards are going to give us an opportunity to kill the Cannon. If the Cannon's gone for, then he can't defend against the RG effectively. Practically impossible. Yep, that should be enough. That should be two shots, and that should be Tower. And now we have to Fisherman here to uh, give him an excruciatingly awful position. And Rage on top of these, so then they die. I hate Evolved Skeletons by now, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> that's not enough to take our tower and then we RG in the middle keep up the offense we go bomber on the skellies if we want to which I don't know if it's worth but that was pretty bad for us I'm gonna go for royal hogs we have to kill them we can if we just rage up our royal ghost it's fine GG we're not going to play as lackadaisically there, like I focused up on defense instead of like letting the bandit take my tower or letting royal hogs rummage through and wreck me. But you know, we focused up a little bit more, just a, just a tad bit, you know. <laughs> no way you got violated like that in the end. Dude, I know I lost to the bandit, but y'all don't have to rub it in like that. <laughs> y'all are trying to steal my sanity when the bandit already stole the match. All right, I see it. I see it. Y'all are crazy with it. That is so funny. That is so funny. You guys, you guys are ruthless. Ruthless. Uh, the best game for real. This game is rainbows and downfall. Yep, yep. I got in. Yeah, dude. The bandit loss is taking over. It is. It's monopolizing my mind. It's monopolizing my mind. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see what we can do. Definitely do want to win this, but you never really know. That was a terrible play. Why, why did I do that? Alright. Ayana Koji. Isn't this guy from like an anime? I'm pretty sure. Isn't he like the like intellectual dude from the class anime? Where like he ended up like knowing absolutely everything? Pretty sure. I remember something. I might be wrong. Um, I want to be in this live since duty. Uh, well, maybe. I mean, we're going to be playing for three hours total. I'm going to go for the three hour live stream and we are 40 minutes away. So you guys have still a little bit of an opportunity to play against me. A lot more pass rounds to be given away. Or, or maybe not, hopefully. I don't know. But, uh, please let me beat Ayana Koji. All right, we're going to fire spirit here. We're going to eat the damage on the other side because I need to. It is a necessity. This is sad. I'm not glad. All right, we're fine. Whew, spicy, spicy, my guy. Wait, this guy's actually pretty good. Like, he's playing really well. I'm getting outplayed. I don't like that. All right, we have to cycle evolutions. We have to focus. Like, I'm actually going to very, 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 very hardcore focus in this last bit of the game. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. This. He should log. I don't know why Fire Spirit is. Less. I, oh, my gosh. I actually hardcore lose. I don't win anymore. The evil bomber's going to ruin me. I just lost. There's no way I win anymore. This doesn't hit. Very good. I don't think that this matchup's even good for me because he's going to have um, range cards to hit me and he's got poison, so he just out damages. I lose. Actually, it's lost. I lost. 
How did I not kill the firecracker? Did I just kill the firecracker? Please. Alright, cool. Alright, that was awesome. Good log. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back, baby. Alright, Fire Spirit should full counter for playing perfect. We are playing really well, though. Not enough. Mortar should take targeting on my mortar. I lost. Kill that stupid card. So painful, actually. Oh! How am I still alive? It's gonna hit my tower and I lose because he poisons. Oh my gosh. That was actually an excruciatingly awful matchup. The double range cards with the Evo Bomber. Oh man, that was a close one. GG well played. I think I should have just dropped uh bomb I, th I should have dropped mortars on defense the entire time and never played aggressive and then won with poison cycle. That was or sorry, I should have just won with minor minor zap cycle and just cycled uh mortars on defense. And then you wouldn't get damage because you're just like dropping your bomber into mortar. If I cycle anything in this side, like I did, then it gave him an opportunity to attack and then use a firecracker or bomber. So I win that game if I just cycle mortars on defense and play like super annoyingly. But that's not how I wanted to play, I guess. I didn't really think about it. My bad. GG and well played to him. GG and well played to him. That was an unfortunate L. Classroom of Elite? Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. It's also good to lose those games because then it reinforces in my brain how I should be playing, right? Reinforces in my brain how I should be playing and how I should not be. Anyway, very well played. What's the most fun deck to play? Uh, I really, 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 really like the deck that we're playing right now. I'm going to be playing it for a bunch of games, maybe. Actually, I'll be switching decks because then I don't want to get hard countered. Actually, I don't know if you guys can really hard counter this unless... Uh, well, I guess there are counters to it. Hard to come up with hard counters. Have you seen the new tower troop that's coming? I have not. I've not played it. I've seen everything that you guys have. I've never seen more than that. Um, I haven't played it in game. I haven't recorded anything with it. I'm eating Pringles. Dang, the guy's name is Hating on Hudson. Hopefully you didn't create that just to terrorize someone's YouTube chat. I feel like there's like a stark chance his real name is like not Hudson and he just did that. He's a, he's a menace. What a menace, my man. One shots it. That's good. Tesla. This is actually a tough one if he's gonna have earthquake, which he might. Hopefully he doesn't have EQ. The goblins did so much damage. Okay, the fire spirit dies, but it's fine. We'll zap just to get more damage. Cycle the evolution. Hey, that's pretty good. Use his Earthquake as well. Didn't get anything from it. I think we're in a really good spot now. He's got a Tesla, and it should just die. That's Log. Evo Zap is going to kill the Skellies. And maybe kill the Ice Spirit. Oh, it doesn't kill the Ice Spirit, but still, it's going to work. Keep up the Mortar. Let's go here. Knights on the tower! Oh my gosh, that's huge! He clicks the ability. That's a bit of an overextend. Even better for us that we can go for a knight here. This is uh, not an easy one. I think this is actually matchup for him because he's got Tesla and Earthquake. And we've got Mortar to counter Royal Hogs so and no splash damage. Tough one. Tough one, Mr. Krabs. No skeleton, so he doesn't have anything here. We can sack that. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I just want to trade evenly here. Zapping the tower makes sense, but... It should die. Should die in one shot. That actually did not hit, thank god. I thought I was going to hit my tower. I thought the uh, Ace Spirit would hit my tower and it didn't happen, so it's huge. Log Zap. Should be it? That should be it. That should be it. Alright, cool. 
Woo! That was that was actually. I think he sniped us. I think he got us. Like that was a that was that was a crazy one. That was a tough one. The last matchup wasn't that bad. All we had to do was uh, not cycle stuff. But this one is really tough. Very, very good deck building there, or good good awareness to play that deck into us. Very good awareness to play that deck into us. This was not a bad matchup for us. I just didn't play defensively, passively. Mm -mm. Favorite anime, uh, Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter is OP. All right, kick people with Pastor Al. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just because people have Pastor Al does not mean I can kick them. I'm sorry. They will get Pastor Al for the next season. That's that's okay. They'll just be able to use it then. Um, obviously, idealistically, we are able to donate to people that uh, do not have Pastor Al. But that's, you know, some people will have Pastor Al. And if they beat me, they will still get Pastor Al. That's, uh, we're not discriminating against people um, based off of that type of stuff. I refuse to do that. If someone beats me, they deserve it regardless. It's an earned prize. And it's supporting the community and it's supporting the people that support me. So that's how, that's how it's going to go. I could zap, doesn't make sense to. Let's go goblins. Electro Giant needs to be nerfed. Electro Giant is one of the worst cards in the game right now. It's impossible to create content on um, because it gets countered by Cannoneer. And a lot of people are running Goblin Drill. Goblin Drill is a defensive building as well against the Electro Giant if you get in a sticky spot. Like, let's say they lightning on your building, then you drop a Cannoneer uh, plus, you know, a, a, a drill, and then you're fine. The drill distracts and you dominate. And it's really, really easy matchup. It's not very fair. Um, it's not something that. Um, Electro Giant players are enjoying in this meta, to be honest. Goblins are bad. We're going to Knight, though, because he doesn't have... Uh, no, sorry. We're going to go for a Miner because he doesn't have like a good answer to that. Uh, I have to s just sit down for a bit because I bet you he's going to go in for a Tesla with an Expo because we have Mortar and we used our Little Prince last time. So if we're remembering... This is what I did last time. He's going to expect me to do the same strategy on defense. We can't be predictable with the same defense. Predictable with the same defense, he's going to be fine and he'll wreck us. Like he'll understand like what we can do. I bet you goes Tesla. Let's go Knight. Yep. As expected. Let's zap and log. That should kill everything. And I think we win the game if we played it well enough. And we do get a lot of value. Very cool. I should have Fire Spirit at the right point, so then um, obviously the Fire Spirit was intended to capture the Ice Spirit. We did not collect that Pokemon. We get those goblins in his face. It's not going to really accomplish anything, but it is what it is. E Giant for the win. E Giant's so bad right now. Waffles or pancakes? I really am a huge proponent of waffles in general. That's because it's difficult to find bad waffles. It's very easy to find bad pancakes. The pancakes aren't supremely fluffy, they are simply inferior. But if the pancakes are S tier, then they are better. All right, um, we're gonna go goblins here. The pancakes are really fluffy. Nothing really beats that. Do the zap here. That might even activate King. Thankfully, did it. The not expo. The Tesla. Does he try to win this interaction with the Tesla? He does. Predicted that. Try to drop a lot more stuff. Uses the Tesla. He's going to expo. Let's mortar. Make the prediction. So then we protect. Then we go for a miner here. Then we're gonna get skeletons from him, probably. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. We had assault. We hit one of the archers. Okay. Um Guess we're just gonna keep cycling. The bad downside of this is I don't have any way of killing the uh, expo effectively, so kinda zapping it out. <laughs> Alright, this Mortar should force out all of his Elixir and make him stay on defense for a bit. I have Evo Zap, so I can use that on the Expo that is definitely going to be down, bound to come down. Two seconds. We're going to Log here, and then we're going to Knight. Evo Zap on the... Uh, the huge benefit. And we just Defensive Mortar, so he's going to Fireball on this, is fine. We Log, and we use the Miner, so then the Miner takes the targeting for the Expo. The Expo locks onto that, then we Log, so he doesn't get any damage. Notice how I'm always like having a tank in coordination for his expo. He doesn't have tornado, so we can continuously drop our knight a little bit further back like that. Little Prince is still on the field. We zap. We go in for a log. For a knight again. Miner again. Notice how I'm just always having tanks in this expo. The expo is not that scary. 
um, if you play it perfectly or if you really know what you're doing. As you can see, I think this was a great game on our end and it showed how fast you can cycle miners. And if you play this deck at a higher level, like Evo Zap is just pretty broken. That was a great game. He's got to go opposite lane and do dual lane pressure to win that against us. Soon you'll have three Evos. Nope. Uh, I talked to them about that. I said it was super, super bad. I said it was super, super bad for the, uh, the game. And they said that they probably won't want to do that. All right. So let's make sure that we kicked everyone. Yes, boy. Anakoji. Uh, Poison Potion. And then Josh. Oh, they're all gone. Yep. So no one, no one stayed in the clan for no reason. On to the next one. Love to see you play Juicy J on a live stream. Uh, yeah, thank you for the 50 bucks, man. Damn, that's crazy. I mean, the thing is, I probably wouldn't do it in a live stream. I'd probably do it in a video series where I play against Juicy and all those guys. I don't know if you saw, but I did already do something with Invader, um, who is another YouTuber, uh, I think around the same level as Juicy J. Um, they're both really high level players. I did one with Invader and I recorded like the new cards playing against uh, Invader and I showed like how uh, the Evo wall breakers were. So maybe I could do that with Juicy J in the future. That's actually a really good idea. Maybe I mix it up and I grab a new top ladder player like Aragon or Juicy J or whatever. Just have the uh, new cards and show that. This specific season, I did not. There's a lot more stuff going on, so I just wasn't able to do that. But I think that would be one of the best series that I could do is bring on a different pro or another top tier player, get their opinions, uh, talk to them, play against them, it'd be fun. And just have a really good time just chilling with them. Thank you for that. I, I, I do need to start doing that more often. I think that not only do you guys want to see the brand new cards, but you also do want to see other pros. And a nice way of mixing both of those together. For, uh, FYI, I think this is the third or fourth time I send you 50. Dude, thank you so much. I, like, I can't express that enough. Like, when you guys do um, donate, like, it, it not only is it, like, supporting the stream and stuff... But the fact that someone actually is like sitting behind a computer screen saying like, your content, it makes me happy enough to like spend money on. Like most people don't even want to spend money on like Netflix or any of that stuff. The fact that you like actually think that my content is worth that, it's a really, really big compliment to me. So um, yeah, thank you. It makes me happy to see people think that. And uh, yeah, I'm blessed. I'm very, very blessed. All right, so we're gonna go for Mortar here. We should be fine against the Musketeer. It's gonna be able to one-shot it now. He used his log, so I think we can go in for goblins as well. But yeah, thank you so much, David. Love you, brother. David Mendoza. Dropping the 50. Also, there are probably some other donations that I missed earlier, and if I did, I'm super, super sorry. I am pretty bad at live streaming. It's not a good excuse, but it is a reality. Let's see if there's uh, another way that I can look up some of the older ones. Maybe I missed uh I did. I did miss some other ones. Oops. Ooh, oops. 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 Yeah. All right. Uh, defensive mortar. Uh, any tips for playing against higher card levels? Yeah, make sure that you are focusing primarily on defense and running fast cycle cards because people that have higher card levels are generally worse at the game uh, because otherwise they'd be higher up on the leaderboard, right? They'd be higher up and they wouldn't be playing against people lower card levels. So if you're playing against higher card levels, generally you want to be running cards and decks that can maneuver and test their mechanics because they're not going to be good enough to counter them. For instance, Goblin Barrel and Skeleton Barrel and uh, cards like that, like Firecracker that they're prone to missing. Um, it's really funny to watch over level players miss an Evolve Firecracker and then have the Firecracker kill everything. So there's uh, the deck sequence in the pinned comment that shows my entire series with an underleveled deck using a lot of those strong cards. Check that out. Um, I pushed from Arena 15 or Arena 14 all the way to Arena 23. Tag Podcast. Maybe. Who knows? That, that would be something way down the line. I mean, I do love yapping, so I feel like if there was anyone to have a podcast, probably be me. But uh, just how it is. Oh, he left. All right, cool. On to the next one. I am a professional yapper. All right. Uh, thanks, Tag. Hug for Brazil. Team Golem Battle Healer. This is Marlito. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. I love it. I love that he's just like a, a very wholesome individual, yet he's running the most toxic deck in the game. Oh, it's funny. That's that that's a good that's a good vibe. That's really, really cool. Not really cool, but like funny, I would say. Are we gonna go knight? Uh well, little prince here as well. Any tips on how to improve your mechanics? It's a lot of like practice and making sure alright, so if I play on a tablet, which is much bigger, or 
If I were to play on a phone, I am sponsored by these guys. Just uh, like tell you straight up, like I am sponsored by Samsung Galaxy, but I don't like playing on small phones. I miss click cards all the time and lose on small phones. So if I am forced to play on a phone, not a tablet, then it would always be like a um, bigger phone, whether it's the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold um, or I would be playing on like the uh, bigger ones, Samsung Galaxy Ultra. Like those are pretty big. Small, dinky little phones, I can't play Clash Royale on. It just doesn't work because mechanically I'll mess up and I won't place my card at the right point. It just doesn't work for me. Um, tablets are obviously superior. You get a tablet stand like what I have here and then um, like... It works. So I hopefully that made sense or that showed you. I don't think it showed it. Face cam really quickly. Uh, while we're playing at the same time, do we just do it? Do we do the full face cam? Oh man, this is a this is totally an adventure. I don't think this is very smart. Screw it though. All right. So see how I have like that, the uh, the back end there. That's uh, that's like what we use. Okay, I'm also not even looking at the game. Oh my gosh. Please work. Nope, there it is. Oh, it's still working. All right, how am I not dead? <laughs> I legitimately wasn't focusing. Oh no, I, I, I don't even know what's going on in the game. I don't know what his card cycle is. I know nothing. All I know is I'm in a bad spot. I've been leaking Elixir and I have not been playing. I mean, I've been playing a little bit, but not much. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose, Jake. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please. Why am I sacrificing my monies out here? What is up with me? Okay. All right. Let's little prince try to win the battle at the river. Let's go in for goblins. Get a barbrill. He actually played that extremely well. This is horrible for me. This is horrifying. The fact that he has Tesla with a bowler means that our, our counters are extremely limited. And my cannoneer counters are not great against the, uh, the the skeletons. How do I win this? Is there no way I can kill this? Like, I wasn't even able to break through there. That's insane. That's actually crazy. I still wasn't even able to break through then. Oh, this one was winnable actually. I needed to focus fully. That was that was an impossible one. Yep. That is actually a hard counter. I should have not I should have switched decks. That was stupid on my end. That was definitely uh that was <laughs> he built a deck to beat us. I played the deck too often. I'm stupid. And then I also didn't like focus. That was that was not it. So we might be going back to drill. <laughs> that was that was a very 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 smart matchup. But anyway, uh, having like a having a uh, stand that you have your tablet on means that I don't have to hold up the tablet. So then I can use my hands to place the cards in a very specific spot. So my mechanics are a lot better. Those are things that help a lot. If you like want to improve your gameplay, uh, being able to see the entire screen makes a very big difference, especially as you get older and you aren't like having a million hours to log in and practice When you practice on a small phone. It can be really good, but when you take time off, it's nice to be able to look back at the screen and like really understand everything that you're doing while you're playing. I think like having a tablet makes a very big difference or having a bigger phone makes a pretty big difference. Uh, Evo Battle Ram looks disgusting, not going to lie. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Predator again? Did we play against this guy before? I don't think so, dude. Anyway. We shall see. Oh, wait. We have played against this guy again. Wait, how did he... How did he, how did he not get kicked? Wait, what? What? Okay. My bad, guys. Well, uh, there's no way. There's Well, it actually is. Like, it's the exact same deck that we play against. Did he, did he join on two accounts? He must have joined on two accounts. He was just faster than everyone else. Was he faster than the average bear? He he definitely joined on two accounts. How did he do that? Bro, yeah. dude, there's no way. There's no way he sneaked his way in on two accounts. That's crazy. That's actually wild. 
Uses both hands? Yeah, I use both hands when I play, play my cards. Alright, we're just gonna make sure that we win this one. But yeah, uh, for future reference, if you do sneak in on... I'm not gonna do it now, but if you do sneak in on two accounts, uh, the disincentivized thing is like, if you get past moderation or something in the future, then you won't get a prize. Like, I want to make sure if you do beat me, then you don't get anything. Like, obviously, he's still going to get a prize because he beat me before, and then I just automatically randomly include a rule later on. But, like, in the future, do not, like, double up because it does take away from other people's time. Um, I'm still going to give him his prize. He still gets the the, uh, the pass route from when he beat me last time. But just for the future, make sure that you don't do that. Because, um, yeah, we want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to play against me. I could have also like not played the game and let him three crown me and then the game would have been faster uh, and that would have been pretty smart actually but in the future i won't play the game out and i also won't give you a prize if you do do that i think that that will probably be the play so then um yeah either he never left or found a way to, uh, a new way to rejoin i definitely kicked him definitely kicked him right there's no way like i went through my list anyway i'll give him some love i'll uh, we'll make that happen Be fast? Dude, I don't even understand. He's a predator for a reason. I guess so, dude. I guess so. That's crazy. Alright. Yeah. There's no way, because we definitely... He definitely joined on another account. Right? Or is this the same account? It might be the exact same account. No, it's a different account. Right? Am I stupid? I might be dumb. I might be really dumb. No, it's the same account? Yeah, it's the same account. It's the same account. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I I, I don't know why I saw something different in the banner. I've been playing Clash Royale for three hours. I guess my brain cells have evaporated. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. Okay. Bro's built different. Maybe he just left and rejoined. Oh, he could have done that. He left and rejoined. Oh, that, how did he get through 100, like, you got, there's at least 100 people spamming. There's 1,100 people live. He left and rejoined over you guys. That makes sense. Because I went through my list. There's no way. <laughs> Dude, he is fast with it. Oh my gosh. That, that makes sense. That's so funny. That is really bad, though. But yeah. I, since we now know that that's a workaround, if I don't get to kick people, they can leave and rejoin. Um, if you guys do rejoin, you will not be getting a second prize. You won't be able to do that. If you kick someone, they can't actually rejoin. But he left on his own, he can. Yep, that's, that's what makes sense. Dude, he was smarter than the average bear. He was smarter than the average bear. He broke the system. Like, he beat me with a crazy deck that I had no intention of being able to defend. Like, there was no way I could defend it. Given my situation, right? Like, I could not defend a mini Pekka Rage. Plus Royal Giant. Because I did not, like, have cards equipped to deal with that. Like, all of my cards died to Rage Arrows. And he mini pekka with a Royal Giant. It's like, wait, what? Like, I don't have a building, so I can't stop the RG. Regular Giant, I can actually kill because I've got Tornado, right? But Roy Royal Giant, like, is guaranteed to get damage on me. So, like, the, the card combination against what we played against, it was impossible for me to win. He was really creative with it. And then... He was creative enough to come up with a strategy so he could leave the, the the clan and rejoin again, and like he had, he definitely thought of this ahead of time. Like this guy is a, a mastermind. Honestly, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Anyway, we'll poison. At least he lost this time. Yeah, at least we beat him. <laughs> I'm genuinely impressed by him. Uh, that's annoying that it, well, I, I'm surprised. I, I guess if someone can get in twice, it shows you guys that it is possible to, you know, if you're fast enough, if you have good enough Wi-Fi or whatever, or you're just like an intellectual like that, man, you can you can play, you can get in these tournaments or you can get in these games pretty easily if you're subscribed and you're just watching it, you know? I was a watcher. All right, anyway, we're going to go poison here. Bro's reflexes are crazy on the join button. Yeah, I guess so. Probably it. Does evil wall breakers kill this? I mean, if we drop it on... Ooh, he doesn't... He doesn't know. He don't know. He don't know. The bro don't know. Wait, evil wall breakers? They kill? Oh, that would have been so funny. Anyway. That was a terrible battle ram. Uh, it's dead. It's going to die really far away from your tower. 
All right, so the wall breakers in, and we probably win because I don't see a universe where this minion horde is gonna ruin me. Yeah, I'm wrong. I hope not. I don't want to spend any extra elixir. I think we're fine, and we just delivery on top of the goblin gang. Focus on that first and foremost, and then going for a goblin drill, and then going for probably bomber. Do we want to, or do we just want to poison the ground? Poison the ground is a very appealing target now. But if we poison on the tower, we win the game. So let's evo bomber as well, just to see what wins faster: the bomber or the poison. The bomber, not win faster. Oh dang it! I really thought the bomber would. I said bomber at the last bit. I was like, bomber got it. I think the poison take down. Evil wall breakers with delivery might kill three musketeers, but they were nerfed quite heavily before the release. Yeah, so if you guys are unaware, evil wall breakers, when they die, they do splash damage. So I use them on defense against the three musketeers. I thought it was fun. All right. Wow, someone just joined so fast. So fast. I know that the clan says that there are people that are inactive, but I've kicked people that have said that they're inactive in the game and they're not actually inactive. And then they come on stream and they're like, you kicked me, I hate you. And I'm like, the game said you were inactive, but you weren't actually inactive. So yeah, you just have to understand that the game kind of is buggy. It is Clash Row. It is not the paragon of perfection. It is very difficult to code. If you guys know anyone that codes or does anything tech related, a lot of things have bugs. Things are not perfect. So because of that, I do not guarantee that it will work. Oh, baby. You guys saw that, right? That was sick. That was not sick, actually. That hurt a lot. <sighs> that was not even a nick. That was a huge, huge hole in my tower and in my heart. Okay. We're definitely in a pretty bad spot right now. Um, we're at 600 HP. We do think that there is a chance for us to win if I play well. You never, never know. Gonna bomber with the drill. Hard for people to defend this. It's annoying. There's no way to say anything other than that. It's an annoying play going drill bomber at the river. Strong card combination. Drill bomber at the river is like one of the best plays that you can do with this deck. And you don't have to think that much. It just does things. Uh, does damage. Very good. Hopefully he drops. Up that isn't good for him. Like that, that's pretty bad. We can kill that. And then he loses the Ram Rider. I think we can go Wall Breakers here, and then we can also go in for a Drill, and then we can maybe possibly Poison. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Well worth my investment. My Bomber on the right-hand side, and I'm able to completely clean up the be a ram rider with stuff like this that'd be huge and not do go for a uh bontar. actually we could go bontar we're fine with bontar and i don't know what's uh wrong with me like not wanting a bontar all right wall breakers die nothing good for us all right drill again ram rider no ram rider you go skellies poison here do that card oh goblins are just mobbing on the tower they're feasting all right cool Wow, I did not expect that, to be honest. All right, let's do this. Two buildings. <laughs> As you can see, Goblin Drill is really fun to play. Like, it's a versatile card. And being one of the best win conditions in the game, it should be worse than Miner. Because Goblins always lock onto the tower, so it's pretty much impossible to stop it from getting damage. Uh, sometimes the Goblin will break through Barbarians. Like, my opponent had... Five Barbarians on the field. I dropped a Goblin Drill in front of the Barbarians, and I got 400 damage. Like, my Goblin spawned onto the tower. My friend and I were laughing because I should have lost the game, but my Goblin Drill bypassed four, five Barbarians and went onto the tower and did 400 damage and won me the game. And I was like, yo, Jewel, this is like the most unfair thing ever. So, yeah. Uh, and then also the fact that it's able to be versatile on defense is crazy too. I got five out of six shards. I have one shard for Evo Bomber and zero for Wall Breakers. What should I get? Um, you should be playing the... Uh, I have one shard already for Bomber and five for Wall Breakers. I don't think that you should really be doing it like that. I mean, if you have five out of six shards and you have one shard left, then you could just... Sorry, if you want to get the Evo Bomber, you could just do that. 
if you want to put all of your shards into Evo Bomber because you're five away and you really, you know, you, you have the ability to just max it out right now, that works. Or you could wait for Evo Wallbreakers. I think Evo Bomber is better in a lot of different decks, but if you like playing Wallbreakers, the Evo Wallbreakers are probably going to be your best bet. Um, I think Bomber is more versatile in more decks because it's a support card. Support cards intrinsically fit their way into more decks. Hopefully that makes sense. Please. Beautiful. Nice. We have activated King Tark successfully. That's a really, really big deal. That was a bad uh, wall breaker on my end. I should have known uh, that he. I should have known that he was going to do that. Pretty big misplay, but it's fine. Winnable, right? It's a winnable game. Currently in a decent spot. He's cycling the bomber at the river. That's a smart decision. He knows that he probably cannot win without the evil bomber. So, cycling that as much as he possibly can is probably okay. Use Barbarrel, so I can maybe do this. Barbarrel in front of the tower. He can kill the baby dragon, which we should be able to. That's a pretty big investment for him. Definitely a good trade for us. We're gonna force a Barbarrel. Didn't even come down fast enough. The goblins are gonna lock on the tower still. That's so much damage. That is 500 damage from one goblin. That was four elixir invested from us. Two elixir invested from him with a Barbarrel. He does not get a good trade overall, obviously. Because that was obvious, I made the prediction. And we're in a good spot because of that. Because he's going to go Tombstone in front. Oh, I was going to Evo Bomber in. That's played really well. Ooh, until he did that. Until he did that. I mean, I still think he played well, but that's pretty difficult for him to defend that effectively. Wait, I mean, this guy is really good. What skill level is he at? Because he's making this game way harder than it should be for us. I, I want to check his profile. He's played this pretty much perfect. Not in, incredibly perfect, but like pretty perfect. Very good player. Like he's making me make sure that I never make misplays. You just eat the wall breakers though, so maybe I just keep going wall breakers other side. Maybe going opposite lane is the better play. Yep, I think that's better now. Definitely seems better from the uh, damage that we aggregated. All right, um, I'm gonna go goblins last second. I'm gonna go drill in front. He's gonna bomber in the wrong spot. He's gonna tombstone, which we could poison, but I don't want to throw the game, so I'm not going to. Um, I can also maybe make something happen here by going, like, delivery and then going for a poison. And then possibly getting away with a bomber. I really, really like this position. Because I know that since I have Little Prince, I can cycle a lot of goblin drills and he's cycling bombers in the wrong spot. So it's hard for him to get a good trade. And if we're able to just ignore and then delivery and then kill the baby dragon... And we can maybe go in for a bomber and win. I think I played that perfect. Yep, bomber splashes tower. GG. Okay. Or did the bomber not splash? Maybe the bomber did. No, no, the goblin too. GG. Very good player. Wow. That was like one of the few games today where I tried my hardest and also I was scared. <laughs> like a lot of the games I threw, <laughs> I did not try super hard at the start, but like I tried the entire time and against this guy. Super, super good player. Super, super good. Like. He made predictions on the Evo Bomber, kept track of our card cycle, made it a very difficult match the entire way through. Very, very good player. Also, yeah, can you're into Graveyard is not ideal, but hey, great, great guy. GG, man. He also like used Tombstone in front, never overcommitted. Like he dropped the Knight against the, the drill and knew that the drill would spawn goblins in the back and knew that the drill goblins wouldn't be something that he would have to spend more Elixir on. Like the fact that he like never over allocated elixir made me slightly scared because he didn't give me many opportunities to uh, get damage because he always kept his same elixir as us the entire time. Poisoning on that doesn't necessarily make much sense, but I figured like 
I want to get damage early on if it's possibly going to be a Hog Rider deck. Since we see Firecracker, that's my instinct is to think Hog Rider. Uh, when we see Firecracker, I think Hog Rider. So I'm like, ah, oh, it's okay. It's fine to eat that damage. We know that... Oh, wow. Firecracker. Bad drill placement. Um, the Goblins actually got caught. You should drop it in front and try to find the spot where the Goblin Drill like always gets damage. It always get damage against certain things like... Uh, this one, I guess it's not the, the correct side. The right side, it should always get damage. Or it might always get damage. I don't, I can't guarantee it, but maybe we go in the right-hand side and see if it spawns and always locks onto the tower. There's a... Oh, I'm stupid. Like, that was dumb. That was actually just dumb. It, it dies anyway. There's no reason. <laughs> there was no reason. <laughs> that, was, that was interesting. Well, it happens, I guess. Maybe the wall breaker, one of them will connect. All right, anyway. Oh, it does. All right, well, we're just going to show this... Not because it's good to do this, since we've already done all the damage to the right, or left. We're going to show it anyway. I wonder if this locks on a tower, even if it goes goblins. No, it still doesn't. Okay, so I don't... I guess it's not with goblins. It's with a different card. It's like with a knight or um, a Valkyrie that the stupid goblin will always lock on a tower. But I guess when there's multiple li little creatures, like little goblins, they can slime their way on to uh, the defense. Yeah. There's one side that is different, I guess, if that makes sense. Oh, wow, he's really running Goldenite? That's such a bad card. Even after the buff, it's just trash. Such a bad card. I would really recommend never play that card. All right, we're going to go in for a Bomber here. And that should splash on the Goblins. And then... Delivery. We're going to go... Uh, we're going to go Delivery. We're going to go Goblins. Probably pretty good. Wow, yeah, we won. Uh, I don't want to, like, just say that we won 100% yet. I mean, there's still a chance that Goldenite could crash into our tower, but... Very unlikely. We're going to wait for that to get a little bit lower. Then we'll click the ability to get, guarantee that we can mash all the goblins. And then the wall breakers will die. Probably go for a firecracker. So let's make a prediction with the bomber. Yep. Well, he should have dropped it like right down the middle because I think he did damage. But he didn't do that. All right, cool. GG's! We, uh, we lost a lot of games today, but we also played a lot of games. We played for three hours so far almost. Yeah, we did play for three. All right, guys. So one last game. We will play one more. Do you guys believe that we will play into someone that will beat me? Or do you think we'll end on a W? Who, who do you guys think? Testing true red, true blue. Yeah, so true red, true blue means that one of the go one side, the goblin will always lock onto the tower if there's a knight tanking. Like there's, goblin will not hit the knight, it'll hit the tower regardless. And so that's why I was testing the true red, true blue mechanic. It's a glitch in the game that you can abuse. Um, true blue has a 60% win rate, which is crazy. Yeah, it does. Like, if you do that interaction and you're better at the game and you understand, like, how to abuse it, like, you will win more games, unfortunately. All right. We will randomize our decks and find which one we want to play. That was the one we landed on. Do I do it? I, 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 I feel bad. I feel bad. I have to play it. And we might play another game afterward. <laughs> we might play a different deck. We might play a different deck after this. I'm sorry. It had to happen. I don't understand why I did that. Do you want to do a separate 1v1 with me or not this time? No worries if not. Actually, screw it. We will play against Smurf Blade, the last game of the day. We will play against someone way better than me. All right, guys. We'll play against a top level pro. Does that make you guys happy? Do you want to see that or do you guys want me to randomize it? Let me know in the chat. Do you want me to play against pro or do you want me to play against some random person in the, uh, in the clan? Let me know. Pro, type one in the chat if you want to see a pro. Type two in the chat if you want to see a random person in the clan. Let me know. All right. So we are definitely going to activate King Tower here. There is no other consideration for defense. Definitely need to do that. And then we go in for this. Play Smurf. Play Smurf. Everyone is typing one. I feel like this is a bad question to ask. Because anyone that is not in the clan will want to watch me play against the pro. But the people in the clan will want me to like play against someone in the clan. <laughs> this was a loaded question that was guaranteed results before I even asked it. <laughs> yep, everyone wants me to play against the pro. We'll play against the pro. We'll play against the pro. All right, guys. We'll see if we can beat them. Also, if y'all are underwear, the uh, best way to play this is cycling Electro Dragon and then nothing else and then you Electro Dragon and then you Golem. You use Electro Dragon on defense. You cycle down the back and the same side as the Lob Hound. If I have the correct card cycle, that is the way that you play this matchup. 
You cycle the Electro Dragon first on the same side, and then you go Golem afterward. Use this arrows. Okay. Maybe just go Skeleton Dragons. I didn't drop it fast enough, but it's fine. I think we're okay. We probably take a hit. Yeah, I didn't I didn't play it perfect. If I dropped the Skeleton Dragons faster, we'd be in a much better spot, but it's fine. Okay. I think the Battle Healer does stay behind and also protects everything. Sorry, that was the, like the S tier play. Body block things. And then we go for this. And we go for more Electro Dragons. And this is just really hard for him to defend. He might be able to. Plays it perfect. Wow, that was a great tombstone. He's playing so well. Oh, there's no way. There's no way we're getting outplayed to this extent, though. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> Not good. Me. That death damage is annoying. Well played. You just played a lot better than me, my guy. Okay, we are able to kill that, and I think that we're fine. We want to be able to go in for Galton Dragons. Probably wants to arrow is this. Go zap's not gonna work. I don't know if this is smart. I mean, I'm going for it. Electro Dragon just died. We're screwed. We actually just lost. Those barbs are bad. I don't have Cannoneer. I can't. Can't defend unless I go um, Elixir Collector and then Tornado. Maybe possible. Hey, we're still alive somehow. You know, there's always a chance, right? Oh, that Evo Zap, though. Oh, no. I think my Electro Dragon's just dead. No. No. Well played. Wait, this guy was really, 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 really good. Wow. Everyone that we played against at the end played so well. I'm genuinely impressed that I lost that. Like, I'm actually surprised. I do think that the Evo Zap definitely clutched up on defense. It did enough damage to allow him to break, like, down our Electro Dragon and other stuff. But the way he isolated the Battle Healer, utilizing the Tombstone, so then the Electro Dragon died to the rest of his support cards, was super, super, super well played. Like, that was just insane. Seriously, well played, man. That was, that was great gameplay. All right, so we will play against Murph Blade, and we might play another game after. Who knows? But we're going to be playing against someone, one of the best players in the world. So you guys, you know, you best believe we're going to have a tough match here. You best believe... We're going to be playing against one of the better players. What is he ranked right now? 753 in the world. He usually is even higher. He's insane. So. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Who knows? Viewers are good because we watch you. Nah, dude. That guy was just really smart in general. He definitely deserved pass Ral. Out of all the people that we played against today, I think he played the best. That was insanely well played. That is not easy to defend that. All right, we're going to give him some love, and we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can cook the Smurf. Cook the Smurf. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, these wall breakers are useless, but it's okay. We're not going to overcommit with them. He knows that they're dead. All right, so Mega Minion with this? I don't know. I don't know what he's playing. What is the Smurf playing? Mega Minion with uh, Little Prince and Zap. Knight. Alright, does this lock tower? Yes, it locks tower! Stupid true red, true blue worked in our favor. We got the glitch. We got the glitch. That goblin is going to lock on the tower every single time. Every single time that goblin is going to lock onto his tower. That's what we needed. Alright, cool. <laughs> We're playing against a uh, pro player <laughs> with a decent situation for us, obviously. We take those. We take those a lot, guys. Yes, sir. Alright, cool. Hopefully this works out. All right, so the cool thing that we have here is that 
Recruit is going to be tanking for the wall breaker, so we force out something he doesn't want to drop. Little Prince here is a bit risky, but it also works. Good zap to cycle for him, but he also did not kill a Little Prince, so we're going to go drill in front of this. Little Prince might get alive or stay alive. That's pretty big. Goblin's locked tower. As you guys can see, this is super annoying for him. Just going to take a ton of damage. We pressured at the right point. He's probably going to balloon soon because he probably needs to do his damage in single elixir. Um, we'll see how this goes. If we can get goblins on top of the miner and catch it, that's huge. Cool. All right. What do we do here? Strategy for me, I believe, is just to cycle our evil wall breakers um, with a few other cards that will make sense if we can get anything in front of it. So I'm trying to figure out like evil wall breakers, little prince, go for this, pop ability, and see if we can make some magic happen. This is a very aggressive play, but I think it's a good play if we can kill his little prince. We are going to kill his little prince. And then you go for bomber here as well, just to keep up the pressure. It's like a very aggressive and dumb decision most of the time, but I think in this particular positioning, that's not bad. Wall breakers on the miner. Oh, he didn't even... Okay. Interesting. Alright, we're going to have to go for a little prince um, counter, possibly later. Don't know. No, I think we're okay. The little prince just dies of poison. Very, very good. He's definitely going to try to outcycle me, so we have to little prince early, and we're going to get back to another bomb tower. We're make sure that we cycle cards like goblins and then arrows come down. So we're going to have to go wall breakers. We have fast fingers, so fortunately that doesn't hurt us. And then I don't think we get damage, but it's still fine. We can go in for this. And then the bomber takes the targeting of the knight. The bomber takes the targeting of the knight, right? Yep. And we go poison. I think the goblin locks on the tower as soon as Little Prince dies. Little Prince is small enough that it works. So we had true red, true blue, and that worked really well in our favor. Uh, that should be dead. I think I go Little Prince. Remember, he's going to have arrows and evolve zap as big spells. So that's what he has. And go for goblins. He's going to go cage. Go bomber at the river. Force out the arrows. Just drop our goblin drone in front of the tower as per usual. It's pretty annoying. Uh, we could pop the ability here. Go for wall breakers if we want. Poison twice wins. We do want to kill his cards, to be honest. He's expecting bomber. We don't do it. We do want to drop our delivery and then bomb tower. As soon as we possibly can, expecting the uh, balloon. As long as this doesn't get pushed, I think we're fine. It shouldn't get pushed. We go goblins on top of the miner to kill it, guaranteed. The balloon gets targeted, we poison. We drop our drill first to get more pressure here, so we force him on defense. Then we bomber, make a prediction on whatever he drops in front on top of the drill. The bomber takes his tower, or we poison. All right, cool. So as you can see, like even better players than you, like this guy's better than me, because I had matchup, and I you know, knew how to play the deck, I was able to win. So if you're like at here, if you're at this skill level, and then someone's here, if you have a matchup that brings you here, and you just play well enough, you'll win. So like the gap in skill can definitely be filled with a matchup advantage, <laughs> which like, you know, um, if you guys are wondering, I am not the best player in the world and I can lose to a lot of you guys. Anyone that, um, anyone that is hitting ultimate champion level, if you play well in a match and you play better than me, you can win. And the best players in the world, like Smurfblade even, uh, you know, he might not play his best in a specific game and he can lose. Like that's like those type of things. So Never get discouraged. Always playing these things. You guys can always get past Ralph from me. And uh, I, I see so many people saying like, you're too good or whatever. I'm definitely not too good. You guys can definitely, definitely, definitely beat me. Um, just wanted to say that. Um, anyway, we'll play one more game and then we will end the stream. One last game. Uh, you requested the battle, so you get true blue. Point to be noted. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, let's run it back with the balloon deck because we uh, we have a higher chance of losing with balloon. Last one. Braxton, my brother. You requested the battle, so you go true blue. <laughs> okay, yeah, I did not know. We give him some love and we'll see what we can do. This deck is very fun to play and I'll probably be playing it later today. There are so many outplays that you can make. It's super fun, but it's so hard to match into a uh, drill with if you play into a drill deck because Hanier cripples balloon. It absolutely decimates it. Wow, most satisfying execution or ever. That was so cool. All right, we can knight here. We're going to wait and see what he wants to do. Oh my gosh. Assemble the situation. <laughs> Line it up and load up the damage. Oh, that was incredible. The executioner was not drawing lines. It was drawing slashes as it slashed through our opponent. That was insane. He's drawing up the plans for a W for us, hopefully. All right. Wait, will this line up and hit the Executioner onto the uh, Mortar? Executioner is such a satisfying card. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. 
Such a cool card. Such a cool card. And the sad thing is it's just not played as much as it should be. Alright, we can't use Tornado. If we have to use Zap, it's cheaper, right? Makes sense. So I would have liked to activate King Tower there with the Tornado against the Skeleton Barrel, but since there was a little Prince, it just felt like it could get out of control real quick. I just didn't want to take the damage. And obviously, there's going to be subsequent Skeleton Barrels that we can mess around with, right? Alright, remember, this guy has Spear Goblins, Goblin Gang, and Mortar to counter our Balloon. So he'll probably Mortar if I Balloon. We can maybe catch Spear Goblins with this Miner. We're lucky. Ooh, he missed the he missed the mortar. That's really rough. He might have tornado though. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. That's gonna get another shot. Also, I hate how the um <laughs> the emotes obfuscate the tower health sometimes. Like the tower health is blocked by the emotes from the opponent. It's a it's a breadwinning strategy. It's a, it's definitely a funny thing. All right, wait, guys, we have a huge. Mimi play. Remember the last Mimi play where I lost against the bandit because I'm an idiot? Yeah, you guys remember that because you'll never let me live that down. However, plays that we have are about to be unchained. So, we're going to go for Skelly's here. I'm going to use our Electric Spirit. Go for an Executioner. Try to make this happen. No! It was so sick until it wasn't. It was sickening that it didn't work. No, wait, 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 wait. Can we take another tower? Please. For the one time. Get back to Evo Skelly's the one time i want it so bad all right i'm spamming like a madman i have no elixir okay gg we did it we did it ladies and gentlemen we got him good games it was a lot of fun huge thank you to everyone that's a part of this definitely make sure to like the video if you want to see more of this content if you guys want to play against me more frequently and you want a chance to get past row there were so many past rows out given today and uh, it was well-deserved. You guys beat me, you played better, and you also built decks to beat me, which was also part of the thing. Like, if you're not good enough, you can, like, to win in an even matchup. Like, a lot of times, I'm not good enough to beat pros or beat people that are better than me. Uh, you can even increase the chances of beating me by building a deck to beat me if I'm playing the same deck for an extended period of time. So that's, like, another cool thing. It's like testing your game knowledge and deck building capabilities and knowing what is a counter deck. That's another cool thing that I figured was a nice thing. Any nuances or anything that you guys think that could improve this, let me know in the comment section. If you think like there's different things that um, like double or nothing or triple, uh, they get three pass rails or a pass rail upgrade to diamond pass if they beat me in a second match and they're allowed to risk it. If you think that would be fun or funny to watch. Uh, let me know. I'm excited to hear all comments, suggestions, improvements. Or, you know, I'm just excited to see your guys' support or whatever else you want to say in the comments down below. I'll read everything. Make sure to check out the pin comment as well because the pin comment has the underleveled ladder series. So if you want to see me beating up overleveled opponents from Arena 15 all the way to the top, you can show that in the pin comment. So I started like around... Ooh, where was it? Yeah, we started, I think, around Arena 15 or 16, like in Miner's Mine. And then we went all the way up to the tippity top of Legendary Arena. And that is in the pin comment with underleveled level 14 cards and also just a very fun time beating up people with two evolutions when we only had one. And uh, this is a really hilarious moments. Check that out in the pin comment. I'll see you guys later. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks again to all the support today. It was really fun to see. So, thank you guys. Peace, love, and positivity. And I'll see you again tonight because I live stream all these challenges, the Electro Buff Challenge or whatever challenge that comes out. I showcase the best decks to win it and the best top tier tips to complete that without pass row or without any worries. As always, take care, guys. Peace, love, and positivity. And I'll see you next time.